All right, how's it going? Welcome back to some more uh, uh, Killing Everything in Breath of the Wild. Um, this is going to be the final stream for the year for us, and, you know, with just the holiday time and everything, I thought it would be fun to go charge into the Hebrew region, because, you know, it's got to be the most festive of them all. And we have metal there, too, so obviously we're a bit far, but it'll be fun to do all that. Charge over there, uh, take on meadow to get Revali's Gale, have some fun in the cold area, and, uh, you know, just have a nice way to end off the year. So... I'm very excited for it. Welcome everyone for tuning in. Hopefully you're having a great day, a great uh, holiday week, and uh, yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of stuff on the way. Just uh, we pull up our map, you know, we just have a nice even trail of enemies kind of going from the tower and, you know, gradually making our way over. It'll be pretty quick though, and uh, you know, I can't wait for that. So welcome everyone. We can actually just start off pretty easy with uh, these balloon platforms right here. <laughs> Always free kills. And we can see how many we get in total. And thank you, Renegold, for the two. <laughs> Love you, Croton. Appreciate it. There we go. This is just one of those easies. Well, you don't want to get sniped. Because uh, then, uh, not as easy getting back up. So we're going to start. Eh. <laughs> okay, all warmed up. <laughs> of course, it's long throw, but that is a good weapon to start us out with. And yeah, for today's stream, uh, we're starting about an hour early because I have to end about an hour uh, like early in the night. So we're just shifting everything down one hour. So sorry, it was kind of last minute. You know what? There might be another opportunity where I grab it. I don't need a long throw. Long throw is yucky, and I have amazing weapons. So we're just going to bomb these guys. Then with you. And you too. I, I didn't forget. And that was nine Aqua Balloons and... Uh, one Boko, so we can up our count by 10 already. 1-1-33. One, one, so, come on, it's like daytime pretty much. Why are these guys here? Like, I don't know, you're, you have a couple seconds left. Make the most of your life. You're gonna die fighting. And searching, okay. <laughs> Why are these still alive? It's 4, oh, I guess. It just seems brighter than it actually is. It was 4.45, but that's okay. Okay, so, um, hmm, yeah, I think we'll just keep making our way this way. There's, like, some nice bridges to get across, so. And we should probably uh, prioritize the towers, too, because there's going to be quite a few of those, and they're not too far off, honestly. That first one, it is a hard one. There's a lot of shock enemies, but hmm, we have good bows. <laughs> Air a lot of arrows. We spent the last stream in uh, the Lanero region, which, uh, a lot of the Lizoffles there drop extra arrows, so it's super handy, and yeah, definitely good on that. Put on Majora's Mask. I don't have that yet. <laughs> you know, I've been just uh, too brutish in this run and only going for the kills. And picking up stuff on the side, obviously, but uh, Majora's Mask is never something I prioritize, honestly. Even though it is cool. Okay. It's about to get Royal slammed in a second. Yeah, you hear me. Oh, he's, he's a lot of good royal stuff on his neck. Yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in. We did start early. Uh, sorry, it was a bit sudden. Um, starting an hour early because we have to end an hour early. So, you still have the same amount of time. Oh. <laughs> These guys are fatal because just... <laughs> it's sometimes like not even when they hit you directly. It's like when they're picking themselves back up. But just like their leg like scrapes and you just die. Okay, that's fine. Now, open up. Boop. <laughs> no downtime there. But uptime, jump attack. So. Yes. Only the blast, only the best for a black Hinox. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Big chicken. Those ones are just so satisfying. Oh, see, I'm glad we didn't get that other royal stuff. Because uh, <laughs> we have a spot problem already. I feel like... Sooner than later, uh, a Korok Forest, so we can get more Hestu stuff. But in the meantime, I think that's pretty low. Sorry. But there's also... Uh. <laughs> oh, Halberd doesn't have a modifier yet. Because some weapons in the same type get their modifiers a little bit later, so... Also, is that a... How, how good is the Royal Bow? Durability? No. <laughs> if you ever... If you ever have a weapon surplus, uh, always go for, like, the modifiers that increases its performance rather than its longevity. Because 
No point in durability when you have to throw away so many good weapons, you know? Mm. Oh, please tell me my opinion of going to master mode. Thoroughly enjoying all the treats and powers. Not sure you want to make the leap to master mode. I think it's good to just, uh, you know, it's a good second mode to apply a lot of the knowledge that you acquired in, like, the base game, normal mode, to a much harder difficulty. Because, um, like, honestly, after a while, I feel like normal mode gets very easy once you've, you know, played it fully and done everything. And you pick up a lot of strategies and, uh, you know, combat secrets um, that make a subsequent normal mode playthrough very easy. So, master mode allows you to actually put those things more to use and really, you know, double down on the best strategies and stuff like that. So... It is a nice second refined way to play the game. So that's my take on it. Thank you, Velvet, for the $10. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Good luck on the monster murder adventures, as always. Uh, thank you for sharing. And a huge congratulations on officially getting 250000 Very happy. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was a huge milestone, honestly. And uh, not one that I ever uh, thought I would get, you know, ever since I've been doing YouTube. So, um, you know, just all these years of being able to do Breath of the Wild stuff and fun runs and playthroughs like this, it's it's been a blast. So thank you for sticking around for it and, uh, you know, being a part of the community and the ventures here. This is all really great. So yeah, thank you. Also, we're just gonna shock destroy these guys with a five-shot bow. Yeah, you did it to yourself with the metal here. One more for him. Oh, yeah, it's badly damaged, so let's save it for something really important. In the meantime, though... Yeah. <laughs> Quick beat down. Nice. <laughs> We've really powered ourselves up. Yeah, again, the more you've played the game, it's like you can get... a powerful earlier and earlier on in the game. So... Let's pay off. There we go. After this, we gotta get on top of the bridge. He's gonna blow his horn. To what? All your friends are dead. And all your loot is mine. So, 38 now. <laughs> yes. So, our eventual goal is still Hebra. Um, we're just making it over. I think we'll make good time, honestly. It just, you know... Decently far, but I don't plan on going to too many splinters. Also, that was very nice. There's some good arrows. Everything. We'll need it all. Nice. <laughs> and I love the gyro so much. Okay, there's a flower there. There's also this thing. Best range bow. Nice. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good shot. Yeah, haha. If there's a quark that's easy, I'm going to nab it. If it takes a lot of work, then I'm not. Because I'm not trying to 100% all the quarks or anything. Just get what's practical. I guess I do have to climb up here. Um, not with the stamina, though. We're going to ignore that one. So. Is the monster loot good? It's like, it's hit or miss, usually miss. Hey, Orca. Uh, I want to thank you for... This year of amazing content. Hopefully with more to come next year. Definitely. Good luck on this last run and happy holidays. Yeah, to you too. Um, you know what? It's, it's really been a good year. And there's a lot to reminisce on. Um, I mean, for one, just from a general Zelda perspective, it's literally the year that, uh, well, we finally got an official, a big trailer and name for the sequel. So it just adds a lot of hype for next year. But especially for the channel, we've done a lot of runs. Like, I think it started with the Rita run. Um... And we did, like, what, the Royal Guard run. We did the Cooking run, which was awesome. Plateau run. Lizelfos run. Um, trying to make sure I don't miss any. Obviously, the Amiibo run. And then our Halloween ones. The uh, the Phantom Ganon and Skeleton run. So, we did a lot, honestly. And that was on top of other videos. Um, so, thank you for being just around for that. Definitely want to do more runs, stat stuff before the new game comes out. And then, you know, <laughs> do a ton with that. That just opens up so much more. Because, you know, the community has been really strong just across, well, the whole fandom of Zelda these last few years with Breath of the Wild. And that's without having any, like, big new game for years. So it's really just going to expand even more. And I'm so happy to see it, you know. From someone who's been following Zelda 
literally my whole life. Like, it's just such an awesome feeling just seeing all these new people just, you know, get more and more into Zelda, um, especially with Breath of the Wild. But just just through it all, it's really cool because Zelda really is awesome. Oosh. Okay. Now that we're here, um, might as well take out the bridge enemies because it's just, you know, they're here for a reason. They're here to be looted, so. Oh. Ah! You're kidding me. <gasps> wow, I am so lucky. <laughs> I put down my trail medallion seconds early. How do I record a uh, gameplay on my Switch? Uh, I just have a capture card in Elgato, um, the pro one. But when you do PC recording, just screen capture. Hmm. I should do 100% stream. I've done two of them. I've done it on normal and master mode. And those are in my playlist tabs. Hmm. What are we doing for Christmas? I am going back home for the holidays. Uh, I'm from Wisconsin, so... Um, be nice to be with my family there, and my girlfriend's gonna be there, and it's it's gonna be really nice. Um, so that's basically kind of what I have just going on for the rest of the year. Like, um, you know, this is my final stream for the year, so pretty much uh, just gonna spend this last week doing stuff with my family and everything, and you know, just relaxing. And uh, we'll be back full swing in the new year then. So it's it's gonna it's gonna be kind of hard because there's a big uh, a big cold wave coming up this weekend, so. Some things may be harder to do if there's a lot of snow. But hopefully checking out some lights and stuff will be cool and uh, anything festive. <laughs> Cooking. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know if making cookies is on the playlist, but I like Christmas cookies, so. Whoosh. Oh wow, <laughs> he's a fast drawer. That Chrono Clitch is so fancy. <laughs> Bye-bye. Voila. Okay. Um, let us mark off everything around the map really quick. So, map up. And we got... Um, <laughs> where are we? I was in the wrong spot. Okay, so we did these ten. We did the giant. Right there. The dots seem, like, smaller today. I'm not sure why. And we did the four up there, four down there. Okay. 42. <laughs> Here we have the starting counts in the description, and it was 1, 1, 2, 3. So, already a few, just for getting warmed up. Hey, Cuddle Paws. Happy holidays, chat. Next year, uh, wish you could all follow the rules. <laughs> it's great advice. I. <laughs> yes, that would be nice. No, I appreciate all of you who, uh, you know, are in chat and just really have a good time, and, you know, for the most part, it's a lot of fun. You, you get, uh, some of the stupid, you know, uh, chats and stuff like that. But that's going to happen in any stream. And, well, we try our best. So thank you. How many avoiding blood moons? Um, ooh, fairy. We found a mini exploit that uh, if we save the game in loadout right before midnight, um, it skips over the cycle. So that's how we've been doing it these last couple. And I have that in the description, too. Um, like, just commonly ask questions about how we're doing the run. Whoop. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here, you take the bomb. Blue for blue. Oh. I'm not blue. <laughs> he fell off, okay. Bomb donation. Ah, not enough. It requires more. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's fine. Using royal weaponry to break choo-choos. My favorite. Bomb arrows? Okay. And I don't mind breaking these weapons because I'm just going to get so many more. I can't do everything I want with all these weapons. We got a pretty good chat, an average. Uh, thanks to the mods, definitely. Yes. Whoosh. 
As long as people aren't being rude or disrespectful, it's usually really good, so. There we go. Um, so the barrel did count as one. I think that was a, a cluster of five. Yeah, we got a cluster of five. Next, um, I'm going to skip these for now. Probably just a tower. There's going to be a lot here. A lot of shock things. Uh, the rain doesn't help, but then we can take on the Sky Octorok platforms. So we can do that. Okay. 47. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> if I hit a good wind bomb, it could be helpful. But then again, the rain makes it a little bit harder. Wind bombs. Yeah. <laughs> the leg stops will happen more, from what I realized. Nope. Man. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Despite what the game's telling me. I'm sorry, Joey. And that time it just happened literally twice in a row. That's fine. <laughs> Go! Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> It's either you get it five times in a row or you fail it eight, you know? Genuinely don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's technically the best way still because it is in the rain, so. There we go. Double slip? What? Oh, we still made it. Okay, that was great. Very risky though. But it literally double slipped us. <laughs> wow. The game wants to spite me. Okay. And then we just whistle sprint up. Or jump up first. Okay, let it do its magic. Uh, <laughs> the rain is pain. Most definitely. Okay. Let's stop painting our health. Eat some crab. Eat some fish. You know? Fancy seafood. Well, there we are, at the tower. Yeah. See that platform? We'll get that afterwards, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. This is going to start right away. Two, three. That's fine. <laughs> Early critical. Um, what's our big clobbery weapon? I think it's you, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. That is a clobber indeed. We have so many ice weapons we have to get through. I almost forgot about all of that. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Take it. And, ooh, 10 shock arrows. It's just handing these things away. 104 now? <laughs> Note that we're only like six streams into this, so... The fact that we're getting all this amazing weaponry ready, uh, it helps. I mean, a large factor of that is due to, um, obviously, this run being about killing everything. And when you kill enemies, you gain scaling points. So, better stuff start, starts spawning in. So, Okay. These guys I'm not a fan of. I just don't want the thunder on me. And that does the trick. Head straight. Ooh! <laughs> he did a little twirl up and then I just ended him out of it. <laughs> His own little rag doll. Okay, I don't need the rods. I just need their uh, souls. Oh, these guys are easy. <laughs> Create their own shock orbs, but really no problem. Bow's broken. We have more. Yeah, we're still doing good. Oh. Not here, you don't. One. Two. It's kind of my only option here. It's just a lot of water. Not many platforms. 
Um, still pretty good. Tardy bass here. Yeah, those were kind of nice. If we find some more, that'll be helpful. Oh, there's gonna be thunder spears. Okay. I do like thunder spears. Oh, we can take it. Nice. Yeah, really abusing elementals makes Breath of the Wild so much easier. Like, fire doesn't do too much. Um, I sell for those big shatter criticals. Um, oh, gold! And shock for extra damage, too, but oh my god, wow. He's gonna kill me if he shoots me. Okay, we have to lure him better. Oh, two. Ah, uh, this isn't good. And thank you, Bati Ray, um, for the ten dollars. First time catching me live. We'll leave the stream and keep watching the playlist from the beginning. We want to say that you absolutely rock. Massive appreciation. Thank you. Glad you enjoy everything, and I yeah, hope you have fun watching uh, the run so far because we've made some really good progress already, and it's all been very enjoyable and just satisfying to go through the world and really see through every enemy encounter. So thank you. Unpopular opinion, Wizards are worse than Lionel's. They're just so annoying, and at least the payoff for Lionel's good. They give you very good loot. No, can't say the same with the wizard robe. Okay, we gotta finish it with one swoop. Oh, not helpful when there's a dive animation. I'll try to pop up my bow. Here. Best way to do this, um, retreating. <laughs> Oh, okay. You have to come closer. I cannot fight gold dissolvables when they're in the water. <laughs> okay, come on. Stop spitting. You have legs for a reason. Uh, just breaking my shields while he's just spitting at me. These guys don't have very sanitary tactics. Winning with gross warfare. That's fine. We'll break a few weapons on him. Or... I gotta use this thing up, so... We're just gonna use it up. I don't need all these ice weapons. I literally have one of every type. Four ice weapons. Okay. Just for regen. Please come up so he can hit him. Nice. Okay. <laughs> you really just have so much health. It's annoying. Good stuff. I don't need that, but it is modified. It's fine. We'll pick up whatever after this thing breaks. <laughs> also, it's definitely going to be harder once we hit Hebra because uh, we're going to be wearing cold resistance armor instead of attack up because we need that. But we still have good weapons for it nonetheless, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to do a quick save just in case. We fail something. No reason. Okay. So we can get a little closer. If we can hit him to that platform. No. Not gonna work the way I was hoping. So. I don't wanna use that because if it breaks mid fall, we'll lose our crap. Yes. And I don't care if we drown. Because I just need to get him down a bit and then I'll do it again. Once more. That works. Okay. He's gonna. We're gonna lose the loot, but, you know, it's fine. They're not all winners, but. Uh, yeah. Let's look at that stuff for the, the looting a bit. I haven't been picking up every single part, but I just know we have a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, like 169 talons, um, 150 fangs for the moblins. The boko guts 152, 357 fangs. We'll probably max out on most of these, honestly. Um, definitely the pacoblins first. We, we only pick up parts if it's like pretty convenient. If it's very out of the way and we sniped it and the loot fell somewhere, we're like, we're not going to bother, obviously. But still picking up because it's there. And we have been really stealing a lot.
Nice. Okay. And then for you, you'll get single shot. Yeah, so happy we're stocked on bows and stuff for this part. Wow, we just touched the edge of the platform to stay on. Nice. Okay, it's almost clear. You know, this part isn't as frightening when you have just all this weaponry. There's going to be a lot of big cluster camps later, and that's going to be uh, the challenge. There's just so many good weapons. Okay. Mm. So there's two in the water, and I think... Oh, wow. There really is quite a few. Keep doing that spit move. He's going to break it on the next one, so we can't have that. Just save again. Like that? Okay. We have some good grounds. Now fight me on here. Good. He's not gonna fight me on here. It's very deep. I don't even know if I can fight. Now we're in a bit of a stuck situation. Whoop. Okay. Bow tactics again. They don't want to fight uh, nice on the land. Wait, I may be able to make it on the line after this. Yeah? Oh, we did! Nice! Okay! <laughs> well, let's go positioning. Come on, one more. Yeah, that works. <laughs> it's fine, we can't get everything. But once we have this tower, we can make it over. Uh, and that's fine, so. And then we can just go to the stable and make a bolt over to Hebra then. Or to Bantha first. So we can get a uh, meadow and stuff. Which requires you to kind of slip into Hebra. Nice. And I think there's like two more enemies. Yeah. And yeah, we can do it. Take a shot everyone. Or take a shot every time someone suggests to run. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's going to happen. Um. Trust me, more challenge runs are happening. Uh, we're going to be recording our next one in, like, mid-January, though. I can say that for sure. And that'll be on Twitch, and, uh, yeah. I'm excited for that. Hoping to get a few more recorded before the new game comes out. Ow! That wasn't nice for my health bar. I think that was, like, the first time getting hit in forever, though. So. <laughs> it's fine. Woo! Go for it. <laughs> I love doing that. It only hits twice, but it is satisfying. He's about to tongue with me. These guys won't stop being gross here. Nice. Stop regen. And do that again. <laughs> Hit it into his friend, maybe. Perhaps. Recharge that blade. Give him a taste of what he's about to experience. Oh, wow, we missed that one. Oh, fire arrow, got it. I was hoping we would. And just, just something stupid and weak. Shock time. <laughs> he's trying to get up and just like freaked on the ground before uh, exploding. Also, I love how the monsters just explode upon death. It keeps that nice E10 rating. Uh, but... <laughs> nice and clean. Okay, I believe this is the last guy. Also, thank you, Skoni, for the $10. Much appreciated. These guys just fire so fast. Also, I've, I've made so many close calls in this stream. We do have a fairy, actually, I just realized. So, maybe not as bad as I thought. Okay. Nice. Double for some reason. Um. Oh, wow. And then just over there, just sinking in the water. Whoop. Bye bye. I know many gems have been lost in the sink today. But. We still get arrows and some loot. It's not like we need all the money, anyways, because we. Even with only picking up like half of the gems, like. We're going to be stacked. Okay. 
Okay. I think all is good. I just see some bass in the water. Yeah, if it's not stuff that's really helpful for picking up, I'm not going to. Or like a weapon in the water, or like uh Nah. We have plenty of weapons. If I'm missing one, that just means well, we'll replenish eventually anyways. Nice. That saved a hair fraction of time. Of course, when we don't really need a wind bomb, it works out perfectly for us. When it's really, really helpful for crossing a gap, we don't get it. So I'm going to this one because I can diagonal. Okay. And yeah, for commonly asked questions about the run, we have those in the description. So they're at the bottom in terms of like how we're working things out with blood moons and where the enemies are and everything. Whoosh. Okay. And yeah, Hebra um, will be after we climb this tower, get our horse, maybe charge to the Tabantha Tower. We do meadow. And then, uh, I originally thought, uh, starting Hebro, I'm like, well, the Tabantha side could be cool. Like, you know how there's, like, the ladders to get up into, like, the southern end? I don't take that way into Hebro a lot. I've only done it once just to see it, but I feel like actually going up those hills would be very cool. Because I always enter through, like, the, the east side, you know, going west, uh, the snow field and everything. Okay. Hello, my content. Thanks for... Or give me something to do when you're bored. No problem. Breath of the Wild is always fun. It truly does cure the boredom. Tabantha. Just wind bomb to the next tower. I can wind bomb to the horse stable at least. I feel like that's pretty fair. Hmm. Favorite Christmas level in a game? I feel like I haven't played too many games with, like, Christmas themes. Like, obviously there's, like, wintery stuff. Um, and I do appreciate this game's winter area a lot. I just love how expansive it is and how lost you can really get in there. Uh, it truly feels the most open out of anywhere in the world. But I can't think of games with, like, Christmas levels. Like, I feel like I feel like platformers do that stuff a lot. Um, in that case, I love Mario Odyssey's, like, little, like, a Christmas town. It's very cute, and I like the music. Um... I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that one just comes to mind. Mario games do that stuff pretty well. Um, there was like that one level in 3D World where you had to like ride around the ice skates or whatever. So that was a pretty fun Christmas level. I like stuff like that though. It's just very happy. Okay. Um, first thing we're actually gonna do this stuff first because it's here. Also, in terms of games this year, uh, what did everyone enjoy playing, like, the most? Like, whether it's something that came out this year or something that you played this year. Um, because, like, obviously we do a lot of Breath of the Wild here, but I feel like there's some really fun other games. Uh, I kind of want to pull one up really quick. I've been following it for actually a couple of years, but it's a game that took a lot of heavy inspiration from Breath of the Wild. Um, pull up our thing. It's called Little Gator Game, and uh, it basically has, like, the movement mechanics of Breath of the Wild. And, like, a small open world has, like a lot of the feel of like how like Animal Crossing is. So it's kind of a short and sweet kind of game. Really happy, fun. Uh, the movement's awesome here. I, I just want to show something really quick. Uh, you can just really go ham in this game. Uh, you have like a balloon for getting around. There's like a shield surf mechanic. You can climb trees. You get like the sticky hand like grapple hook thing. It's really fleshed out and it takes like a large inspiration from how Breath of the Wild is. But the gameplay's fun. Like there's not a lot of like combat stuff. It's more based on like exploration interaction, but it's cute. Um, it just came to Switch. It's like $20. Um, if you want to check it out, definitely do so. If you love like, like fun sort of movement mechanic, there's like paragliding and shield surfing too. It's so awesome. I just have to give my recommendation to everyone. Uh, truly a great game. I was playing it over the weekend and I had a blast, so. But okay, um, looks like a short hike. That's what I heard. I don't know anything about the game, but I heard that's the inspiration. 
Also, we were so close. Uh, we're going to burn these two platforms and then... Uh, just make sure it does. And then we're just going to mark off everything at once. So it looks like everything's dead. So, uh, oh, <laughs> the chest corpse. Also, I guess we can take those arrows. Free is nice. How much is the game? It was $20. I'm not sure if it's still on sale. If it is, uh, the sale ends tonight, like in a couple hours. So, Little Gator game. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm going to save, and we are going to see um, everything on the map that we just did. We got whew, quite a lot. I'm going to double talk to make sure we did it in game two. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 25 enemies just with that whole cluster. So it was really worth it. Um, so 25 will be 72. 11, 72. Nice. So we're on like 50 enemies already. That's actually really good. Me fishy. <laughs> All for one fishy. There we go. Like the sweater? Thank you. I'd wear a, a nice Christmassy sweater for the holidays. Mm. There we go. Okay. So yeah, now let's go back in the tower. It looks like everything was done. I just wanted to thoroughly make sure. I mean, check this in, in between streams too, because it is easy to occasionally miss something. Ugh. I'm really excited for this though. Like, obviously getting the towers is important, but I feel like doing metal today will be awesome because uh, we're going to a pretty powerful and we can buy the Christmas gear um, or cold resistance. I'm, I'm calling everything cold, wintery Christmas now just because just it's today. Uh, let me, sorry. Christmas is in like a couple days. So yeah, for those celebrating, I hope you have uh, a good one and, you know, it's always a fun time of the year. And we are going to blast off that way. We are going to reload. Uh, <laughs> okay. So it works best in, in cardinal directions. Sometimes I don't know with wind bombs. I just try. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Too safe because we have to reload the wind bomb. Fire weapons, I know we have some stuff like that, and when in doubt, you can just fire arrow it out, so. Mm. A question is about the Gator game. Um, it's pretty short. Honestly, it's probably like, you know, six hours. Like, it's not a super long game, but it's very fun, you know. It doesn't milk out any sort of, like, ideas or content. It's just very good gameplay all the way till the end. Mini open world. It's great. Mm. Okay. Double save. We have to get it right. I can't mess it up. Yeah, Hollow Knight's also very good. I played that last year. And uh, truly a blast. It was a very difficult game. Um, but the combat's amazing. Exploration. And there's also just a lot of freedom in there, too. You know, it doesn't hold your hand. Uh going through the maze of the underground. It's just very, uh, you know, kind of do whatever and you'll you'll pick up the skills on how to beat the game as as you go about it. Similar re reason why I like this game, although not as blatantly hard. Okay. I'm just going to make sure there's not any, like, random pop-up choo-choos on the way I got to take care of. I don't think there is. Um, there should be a Hinox, so we can take on him. And there's also like a Yiga Traveler on the way too. And a Lionel. You know, we can do all those three things before uh, we hit the stable. The Hinox, Yiga, Lionel, stable, and then we'll start, we'll start booking it to uh, Rito Village. Don't need to use fire arrows on him. And I will keep this Falcon Bow because it's going to be very good for taking down Meadow. Has good range and draw speed. 
Like how they act all like stunned when they see you. They're like, hey, <laughs> hands up, you know? Okay. Being very risky about this. Oh, uh, he's gonna jump. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course we missed the eye. One more eye shot. Just, just take it. <laughs> just take it. At least see that because we're gonna get replenishments, so I don't care. But man, long throw. Those are bad replenishments. Very yucky. Uh, is this bow good though? Ooh, attack up fourteen. That's even more damage. You know, I'm gonna throw out this bow. Having good single shot bows is just nice. We've been using the hell out of them today, but for all good cause. Rate Master Koga, 1 out of 10. You know, for the fights, I appreciate how it's different, and it's just kind of a... It's meant to be a silly fight, where you just kind of use your runes. Uh, doing it on subsequent playthroughs is not very fun. But the first playthrough, I was like, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was, it was kind of neat. Uh, you know, maybe like a 6 out of 10. <laughs> like, it was an alright fight, you know? But on future playthroughs, I'm just like, okay, let's get this over with. Also, ooh, different colors. Wait, picture time. It's rare to find two separate colors in the same area like that. Not even a good picture. I just I just like pebblets a lot. There we go. Take an amber or two. Ooh, noble. Makes up for the flint that dropped from the other. Hi, Fox. He's just in a ball. He he doesn't hear me. Hi. Hello. There's a lot of shadows in the way, but... Aw. There we go, that's actually a cool one, too. Look at this, all these fox pictures, just for the sake of... Uh, liking foxes. Hello. I'm so shocked it didn't hear me. Very cool. <laughs> okay, let's up that enemy count, though, from the high knocks. And for the Blood Moon Shrine, I saw that in chat. Um, we can still do the Blood Moon Shrine. Like, but we don't need to do it, you know? Like, uh, wait, is it a test of strength? I don't remember. Crap. <laughs> is Blood Moon Shrine a test of strength or a blessing? If it's a test of strength, uh, we can still do it because it just has to be before the Blood Moon, then we enter, and then no Blood Moon happens. So. Okay. Sorry, I don't remember what's in every shrine. Also, okay. It is, it is test of strength, okay. So the Lionel's up there. Hey, Lionel. Ooh, it's got a crusher we can take. But there's also a person. Hmm, what does the sign say? Beware of bandits. Okay, I, I better let this person know. They probably can't read. Or maybe they can. I don't know. Did you hear about the bandits? <laughs> what? Hey, don't fight me. There's bandits here. You want to go home? Idiots. <laughs> they don't know about the bandit problem. Oh, well. Sucks for you. <laughs> Your money is now mine. Or maybe they just didn't care. They only had one rupee on them anyways. Who cares if a bandit took that? Okay. Now let's get us a Lionel. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was too jump-happy there. Yes! No. Okay, why did I even think remotely that would work? <laughs> we were... okay-ishly close. Okay-ishly, yeah. That works. Those were the mass Nintendo bandits. Nice. <laughs> How much was the sweater I got? Um... I don't remember. I got it at Old Navy, though. And that was, like, I think it was last year. I got this one and one that had bears on it. And uh, <laughs> I like that one, too. Immediate regrets, yeah. I really am used to the more stamina. Um, but uh, playing with one to fifth wheels, that's how we do challenge runs. So it's not the worst. So I'm kind of used to one to fifth. 
but sometimes I'm not. <laughs> okay, do not. Yeah, don't pop your bow at me. Don't be that rude. Okay, jump on board and yeah, <laughs> this will be our crusher until we get the crusher. Even if it has long throw, it's going to do 78 damage. So. Also, thank you, I am Cat for the five. Okay. There we go. Don't need to waste any durability. Good. Um, but if we did waste something, probably a long throw. <laughs> long throw is too yucky to keep. We are literally a one shot, but we have a fairy, so I don't know. We're we've been uh, getting through some pretty risky situations without dying today. Okay, <laughs> third works. Okay, you know, just for the fun of it. Yeah. Long throw is very yuck. Okay, very good. Fairy! <laughs> Always helpful to chop grass. Oh, not that. That's how we can die, actually. There we go. Nice. Spin attacks are just fun to do. Pop out a few. Do some more. Ah, uh, that was actually kind of close to the head, I think. I should never try that. But then again, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So sometimes attempting a truck shot once in a while is okay. Nope, hit, kill him. So I was really stupid for still trying to charge him and finish him with that. But we, we killed him and he only did a half a heart of damage to me. Wait, I, I, I think that was because the body hit me. Usually that attack's pretty fatal. Um, one second. Let, my I check that really quick? <laughs> I want to see what happened. I shouldn't have kept going. That was totally my bad, but he hit us for a heart. His body must have whacked me just did a heart of damage, not his, like, killer weapon. That was luck on our side just because it wanted that thing dead, I swear. <laughs> Very awesome, though. Uh, but wow. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Grayson, for the 50. I, I really appreciate it. Sorry, I just saw that as I was watching the video. Um, yeah, honestly, I, so much. Thank you. Wow, and uh, also thank you to Mystic Angel for the five. Hi, Croton. How, how am I today? I am doing good. I am, well, happy that the holidays are coming soon because uh, it's, it's very cozy, and that's my favorite part about, you know, the winter holiday. So thank you. It's it's been a blast so far with the stream, so there's still a lot to do. I wanna make sure we are good with this stuff. Okay, it's not modified yet, so we're just not there in the uh in the scaling. But the fact that it's still dropping it's nice. Mmm. What's this bow? That's a five shot. Yeah, I don't need more than two Lionel bows, you know? I know this one's pretty damaged. So we'll keep it. Would love to get another bow slot or two sometime. Mm. Thank you, Mystic Angel, for the membership as well. Uh, I appreciate it. We've been getting a lot of new uh, members lately, so thank you for joining. Um, and plus, the more that join, we can add more emojis, um, which we actually just added a new one um, ever since after the last stream. For those who saw it, we added, uh, well, the Baby Floyd one. So we have them right there. And uh, next time we'll add more because I think we need like two more members for the next one. So, yes, I think that'll be awesome. We can add one from the Twitch. Also, that was the micro Floyd we added uh, or we showed. Baby Floyd's in the other room. He's bigger. <laughs> yeah, so we finally got him. Here we go. Um, I think we're up in the comp fight too. We'll probably add uh, either the breadwinner emoji or the chef croton one. 
because those are on the Twitch. It just, you had to get more slots uh, for emojis. You have to have more members. Great fairy. Yeah, <laughs> we can get our free rupees. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll give rupees to the fairy. Thank you for the 500. Nice. Okay, Um. now for this, this should go faster. If we just take our horse, I don't want to do too too many side things. I I would love to just like charge the tower, take that on, the enemies there, and then charge the village afterwards. There we go. <laughs> Floyd sweep. <laughs> Lots of Floyd in chat. Have I tried the game Arms? Uh, I did back when there was a demo in it in like 2017. It was very fun. It just wasn't a game that I wanted to. Uh, purchase necessarily because uh i think a lot of fighting games like they're fun to play for a bit but most of the time i can't justify like a full purchase sort of thing because i'm not going to put that many hours into it like the one that i have is like i have smash ultimate like a lot of other people do and it's fun especially for like parties and whatnot um also the splatoon games are nice although i'm very on and off with those too but yeah from what i remember arms was fun i just didn't want to buy it nor did i have the time to play it then it did fall off pretty fast, which I guess is a shame because I did like the gameplay. Thoughts on Tears of the Kingdom having amiibo compatibility with Breath of the Wild? I, hmm, like, I mean, in terms of like all the past Zelda amiibos being uh, functional in Tears, I, I think so. I think there might be a similar system, if not the same, um, just with different drops. So all the Zelda amiibos drop some other item in the game, and there's going to be new ones for Tears. But in terms of if Tears of the Kingdom gets new amiibos, will those be Breath of the Wild compatible? I feel like they might. I feel like they might push one more update for Breath of the Wild, just adding in a couple more things. But that's still maybe, because it's like, I know after a while Nintendo doesn't like to touch their games, because it just they want to keep it preserved in that state. So it really is 50-50. There might be uh, more amiibo functionality in Breath of the Wild with Tears of the Kingdom amiibos, but there might not be. But as long as Breath of the Wild and other Zelda amiibos are compatible with tears, then I'll be happy. So. Also, that spear is perfectly on. <laughs> like, nice. <laughs> it's just there. It's kind of floating too, but. Good catch, Bridge. Good catch. Brings the count up to 80. Hmm. Yeah, we won't be able to loot this very easily. So, next best thing is just doing that. Okay, we're using our weaker one. Good. <laughs> Basically, I always prioritize attack over quick shot. Durability is just not going to be too good. Okay. As long as we float up the die in the atmosphere. 85. Okay, next I think there's uh, actually some Sky Watchers. Which, there's only two of them, we can, uh, we can ancient, ancient arrow them easily. There we go. <laughs> Just sort of out of the way, we can get some more ancient parts. Because eventually buying that, uh, ancient bow will be nice, I think. Spear placement was very satisfying, I agree. Yeah, and welcome to everyone still tuning in. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday. Um, and, yeah, it, it's been a blast, really. I mentioned before, but uh, it is my final stream of the year, so. But we'll be back in full swing uh, in January. More of this every Wednesday. Um, we're going to be recording our next challenge run mid-January. That'll be uh, on Twitch like normal. And yeah. <laughs> Have a lot planned until Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Just going all out with this game because it's probably going to be the last huge bulk section where we play, you know, Breath of the Wild before the new one. Because obviously we're still going to do Breath of the Wild here and there. Um, but the priority is definitely going to be more on the new game, of course. There we go. So I realized it's all my comment pin from before the stream. Uh, one second. There we go. Okay. 
Let's see. I think there's some enemies leading on we can take. There is that camp. This could be a very quick clear. If we just blizzard brought it, yeah. Take out the gold bulko first. There we go, like that. <laughs> Literally just destroys everything. Okay. Fine by me. Oh, he's a bow guy. Hit him, please. Hit him, please. Stagram. Nice. Hit him with some frost. Or, <laughs> I guess I just finished them because there's a lot of frost. And him back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> ah. Wiping these camps is so much fun. Oh. Hmm. This is, this is gonna be good. Nice. Okay. Just keep it up. It checks out. Okay. A little bit of extra shock. <laughs> as long as you get shock in there, it just, you know, stops everything, gives you a moment to breathe. Ah that up. We'll get more Lionel stuff. That's no problem. Nice. Okay. Woo. Sideways. Good. <laughs> Cancel it just for one hit. That was a really good takedown. I am very happy with how that went out. Hmm. Do I have any suggestions for how to handle final trials and uh, master trials? Yes. Um, final trials can actually be the easiest one. I think the hardest part is just like the length. So in case you do get twisted up, you have to redo a lot. But as long as you're bringing in an attack buff, so just eat a 30 minute attack buff before the trials. So like four bananas and dragon horn. Make sure to have your chest sensor set to, uh, well, chest, sorry. Have your Sheikah sensor set to chest so you don't miss any chest loot. Because there's going to be a lot of ancient arrows in the final trials. Enough to take on most uh, ancient enemies and even the Lionels. So, as long as you're always getting them and using them for the hard stuff, that does help a lot. And then make sure to, you know, hurt enemies with elemental weakness while you can. Like, use ice and fire in the respective climates. Um, and, you know, even in the lava areas, you can push enemies into the lava, and it's very helpful. If you headshot a moblin, it does ragdoll, and there's a few floors where. The moblins can be pushed into lava. You died on the last level of the final trials? Oh no. Yeah, it can be a lot, um, especially if you don't have all those fairies left. Okay, this will try boomerang. Ooh, that's so good though. Attack up 21. We're keeping long throw throwing spear. Um, okay, I. I know our frost weapon is down. We, we can't have four frost weapons. I literally need to make a sacrifice. Damn, I... You know, I'm just gonna frost wipe a lot of my weapons because we're approaching the cold area anyways. Fire is more important. And this stuff is low. Like, it, it is stuff I remember using a decent bit before. Mm, so. Just out of curiosity. Okay, just long throw. So, throw it long. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna very quickly see what's all in the map and what we all did. Um, so I know the Hinox is dead and I know the Traveler and Lionel's dead. I know the bridge stuff is dead and I know uh, the Sky Watchers are dead. And then here we just talk on how many? Two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies with these. We'll add that to the count. And then here we just got this area. Then we can fly into uh, the village, so. Seven enemies, 94, cool. All right. Mm. Will the next stream be, um, let's see, what's the day? It'll be that first Wednesday of uh, New Year. So yeah, January 4th will be the next stream. And I think I'm gonna pencil in the challenge run recording for like the weekend of the 14th. So and that'll be on Twitch. But yeah, otherwise, uh, for those new, we do more of this playthrough every Wednesday night on YouTube. 6 Eastern, with the exception being next week. There's no stream. 
Um, I guess the only thing I'll be getting up is uh, on the VOD channel, we'll be releasing uh, the Mario Odyssey playthrough um, sometime in the next couple of days. So. And then if you haven't watched it already, we did uh, release the uh, Amiibo Run version 2. And that was honestly a blast. I would have to say that's probably one of my new favorite runs. So, um, yeah, thank you for the good feedback on that, too. It was truly a blast. Oh, and come back to me. <laughs> you activated the Mifa. Wink. Nice. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see as we do it, kind of. Oh, there's our horse over there. Hey, Joey. Oh. Sound peeking. Oh, there we go. He's trying. Go, Joey, go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I really tried. Thank you, Cranky Boots, for the $2. What are my thoughts on Skylanders? I know nothing about Skylanders, sorry. All I know is that uh, it has to do with N NFC figures, and then Amiibos adopted that. Also, I really should have just snuck strike him. Oh well, you get critical it instead. He was guarding the radish. My food. Do I want to play Breath of the Wild in VR someday? Uh, I mean, I do have the Labo, like, VR set, so I could try it, but I couldn't, like, stream it or anything because there's no way to uh, record that signal into the game itself or into that computer itself. Um, it'll probably give me a headache, but I, I have to try it out just for a little bit just to say I did. Perfect situation for that. Of course. Just a tad too noisy. Mm. I'm wasting good weapons. No such thing as wasting in this game. Because um, if you're trying to kill something, weapons will replenish. And I feel like for the longest time, I was always fearful of using my best weapons on whatever. But then it just leads to a giant surplus. So if you have good weapons, just use it. Like, if a weapon's too good for a lower tier enemy, well, then you're just going to kill it faster, so you're barely taking durability. I should still use tactful use, you know, prolonging the effects with good buffs and elementals, but if we're not running into weapon shortage, we're doing it right. And also, yeah, just extra loud. Uh, okay. It didn't all connect at the end. Oh, horsey took it. Dies from the cold. A lot of royal claim wars. <laughs> okay, what's used up, what's not? Uh, we're just gonna use up that. We spin to win, that should work. Yeah, stun lock. It's so much fun. Congrats on the 250. Thanks, Kongol. Yeah, <laughs> 500,000 next year. That's That's a huge leap. I think it'll be a while before we hit 500. Um, especially considering not many Zelda channels ever get to like that mark. I'm pretty sure the biggest Zelda channel to exist is still Zeltek. He's uh, he's at 600,000. So for a sole Zelda channel getting half a million, that's huge. Because I think, yeah, only one Zelda channel has over half a million subscribers, and that's Zeltek. I'm talking about people who specifically just do Zelda games, not like people who do Zelda and other stuff. So I guess we'll see what it brings. <laughs> I just take every day as it is, and you know, it's uh, <laughs> unfathomable in a wild way. But thank you. Thanks, Cranky Boots, for the two dollars. Am I done with Christmas shopping? I finished most of that in like November, a little bit into December, and uh, besides like one thing in the last week, yeah, I, I try to do it early because. Uh, since a lot of things are more easily and, well, cheaply bought online, it's best to do Christmas shopping a few weeks before Christmas. Also, this is, that that was a sham. I, I feel scammed. What? So let me sneak strike him. 
There we go. <gasps> <laughs> the kick misses so much. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, the stealth isn't working the way I was hoping today. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. Blizzard. You just use the next one, why not? We have them for a reason. Just use them. In where? Who knows? Mm. Getting the Barbarian set up will be very helpful in the future. Because having that uh, reduced stamina for the charge time will be nice. Come on. Like that. Good. We're getting some good loot. Back away. <laughs> the two ended are so good against Moblins because it's like the only weapon type that actually raid goals them. So, <laughs> just have some fun with them, you know? Beefy enemies require beefy weapons. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Still not breaking a sweat. Oh, wait, their stuff isn't lit. They have two fires that are lit and an unlit one. Here will help. There we go. Three lit fires for three graves. You'll need them. See you never, because no blood moon. I missed the donation, my bad. Uh, I see it in the feed. Sorry about that, I must have literally uh, went off my screen too fast. Thank you, Mystic Angel, uh, for the $10. One second, let me scroll back to it. My apologies. I, I really try not to. Um, hey, Crow, it's on me again. What are my personal favorite Breath of the Wild and Zelda theories? Any personal theories, I believe, for Tears of the Kingdom or any other game? Okay, my biggest theory about uh, Tears of the Kingdom specifically has to do with uh, how the other games in the series tie into it. Very much specifically with, uh, with Twilight Princess, actually. Because, um, well, as we see that one crypt in, you know, the first Breath of the Wild 2 trailer... Um, where it shows Ganondorf, and there was like a wound on him, and the hand or whatever. Uh, but my big theory is that that was the Ganondorf who was sealed from Twilight Princess, and he was sealed under the castle. He had a seal on him, but over thousands of years, he started excreting his malice, and that, you know, that malice that he was ex excreting eventually became the Calamity and like, the Breath of the Wild lore. But it happened once 10,000 years ago, once 100 years ago, but... Maybe the new game's going to start with a new Calamity because they eventually find out that a Calamity Ganon wasn't Ganon. It's just the malice excreting from, well, the Ganondorf that's locked beneath the castle. So it's pretty much going to explain the source of the malice, which is the corpse of Ganondorf that was being sealed away, but the seal is breaking. Um, and so the story is going to dive deep into, like, you know, the old conflict of Link and Ganondorf. And uh, I don't know how Sky Islands take a part in that, but I guess we'll see. So I guess that's kind of my theory. It's just kind of how it links to, like, the Twilight Princess and um, how I think that the Calamity in this game wasn't actually, like, the true incarnation of Ganondorf. It was just the formation of Malice of the sealed Ganon. So I guess that's mine. Sorry, it's a bit of a, you know, theory mindful. But, you know, I, I guess we'll see. I could be completely off, but, you know, it's still just part of the joys of theorizing and, uh, being right, being wrong, and seeing where it goes. And uh, another reason why I think that too, is how Dark Beast Ganon was really just, you know, well, it was a very interactive battle, but wasn't a very tough one. Like, I don't truly think that was Ganon, you know? Like, that was just Malice. Like, you know, there's Malice everywhere, but um, the Blights is obviously a formation of Malice. A Calamity Ganon's that, Dark Beast. The real Ganon is still creating the Malice that's creating those things underneath the castle, uh, in the chamber as the seal's weakening. So, sorry, I'm not the best at explaining things on the spot, especially when it comes to theories, so I, I hope it made sense. Um, 
Makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Mm. Here we go. Th there's like a malice eye somewhere. I'll see. I'll see. Yeah, sorry if I if I miss occasional chats. Uh, it's my apologies. There is a lot of people chatting today, uh, which is nice to see. But I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get to everything I can. Here we go. Let's go up. Okay, so I know there's quite a few malice eyes. Oh wow, that wind was strong. <laughs> thank you, Arthur, for the nine. First time watching? Uh, I think you're great. Appreciate it. Glad you're having fun. Trick shot the eye. Just do some nice slow mos. Mm. Yeah. So for those tuning in, um, and basically, we started all the way at the central tower. Our goal is obviously Hebra and the Divine Beast, but we made it pretty far. We killed a lot of enemies on the way. Um, and this is already our second tower we're climbing. We got the Tabantha before this, or Ridgeland, now Tabantha. Whoosh. Okay, good. We'll get that coal resistance, too. But before we go off, I do want to finish clearing the tower, because there's not too much. Um, let me just pull up the map. Yeah, we just got a few things just kind of around. Hmm. It's all doable, though. We'll just kind of start from the top and take every spoke down separate. And then I'm going to update the count all at once, because that's usually how I've been doing it, and it's been working out well. So, after this section, we'll update by however many this, that is. There we go. You didn't know about the pillar and the mal side the first two times you played? It's so nice. I, I know I love it. There's always like a little shortcut for every tower. Um, you know, just like how in the wasteland tower, there's like those like uh those pillar dominoes you can like shoot over, create like a little ramp for yourself. So that's handy. Um, I like the tower in Gerudo where it has like the giant bottomless pit. You have to keep like spiraling it up, but so every tower kind of has, has its own like creative, you know, getting up gimmick, even if the tower. Sh you know, look is like the same. So it's very nice. Okay, um. I know there's more malice eyes. Think you win for the two. Or do I ever get burnt out from the game? Like, bro. Um, no, it's fine. I get that question a lot. And in any normal situation, that's totally fair. Like, it's not common to play. You know, a game like this for thousands of hours. But I feel like there's a lot of replayability with the different ways you can play it. Um, that's one aspect of it for me. So for, like, different challenges I do with it, I feel like that adds a lot of replayability. Um, also just, you know, learning more things about it and using that applied knowledge makes it fun to just play again. And also, and probably the biggest one, um, I don't play it every day. Like, obviously that's what I do on the channel, but when I do play it, it's... Well, once every, once every Wednesday night here, um, we record a challenge run here and there, which is like just over a week and span at a time. But there's just many days where I'm not playing the game. Instead, I'm, well, I guess editing it or doing something else with it. But I make sure to pace out uh, what I enjoy. That goes with anything. Like, you can easily experience burnout if you're doing it every single day, even if you really enjoy it. But as long as you know how to pace it, and if you are doing it more, uh, try to do it in different ways. It can take forever to get bored of something. So that's truly how I feel. And that's how we've been doing this game for so many years. I don't even feel like I'm close to burnt out. Um, and if I am, it's because I literally just done a whole bunch with the game. And then it goes away once I think of something else. There we go. Take all that stuff. Mm. Yeah, we're just going to keep going around. Uh, if we're at the bottom, we'll just warp up and get more. Rinse and repeat until it's cleared. Mm. Was there any on this side? Again, I'm not updating the counter until everything is done. Yeah, I believe we may be a little too low. We are. 
Okay. Um, wait for there. Yeah, let's just tower back up. So on the west side, just a little above me, there was three enemies. One of those being a Malasai. Um. Okay. It's honestly not going to be that bad. Hey, Brandy, thank you so much for the $2. What are my thoughts on Tunic? Uh, a great stream, by the way. Thank you. A Tunic is a very fun game. It is, uh, for those who don't know, it's like a top-down Link's Awakening looking game, but the gameplay feels a lot more kind of like how Souls games are with the combats. So, like, there's, like, dodge rolling and uh, really tough bosses around that. Very fun, though. I think it has a great atmosphere, soundtrack that's calming but mysterious. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's definitely, you know, not a super long game. I'm almost done with it, and I'm having a blast. So, if you like games with kind of like the world design of, like, how Link's Awakening is, but more of the combat of, like, Souls games, like Dark Souls, El Elden Ring, uh, it it's definitely a good pickup. There they are. I feel like I... Huh? What is this area? Is that a Korok? I, I don't remember it. I may have been here before, but it's one of those I generally don't remember. Yeah, that was too loud. I fell in the mouse. There must be a Korok. Maybe I don't recognize it. No, if that's a Korok, I've definitely been here before. I just don't recognize. It is a peculiar area. Very off the beaten path. There we go. <laughs> and we took a beat down too. There we go. Stagger a bit. Good. Diamond. Nice. <laughs> What's my favorite enemy to fight? I, I still really do appreciate the Lynels. Um, and Lynels are always awesome. Because there's just a good rhythm to it, and it's satisfying to pull off, even if I've done it so much. Um, otherwise, for like the main types, Bokoblins, Moblins, and Zolfos, uh, Bokoblins are always fun to bully around, but the Zolfos always feels like a good challenge. You know, like, they're really agile. Um, when you can really get the drop on them, it feels nice. It's satisfying, especially in, you know, bigger packs. Moblins are fun too, but uh, you know, they can just be a bit clunky. Always have that annoying kick move, even if it doesn't connect. So I might have to say Lizalfos. I feel like Lizalfos just have the most, uh, well, most interesting combat design. But obviously the others are great too. Mm. Happy holidays, thank you. Yeah, to all of you too. Mm. And yeah, four commonly asked questions. Uh, it just says old gamer says uh, we do have a fact, and that's in the description. We also have uh, commonly asked questions about this run. We have our links to our Discord, Twitter, you know, just normal description things. So, and usually a summary of what we're doing today. And yeah, we did a uh, stream earlier today because uh, I have to end an hour earlier than usual, so I start an hour earlier. So. <laughs> To make up for that time. Yeah, otherwise for the holidays I'm heading back home uh, to my hometown Wisconsin for uh want to be with my family so it'll be fun. In the meantime I enjoy bowling these guys. What's my favorite memory in this game? Ow. <laughs> Sorry, as I just got bonked by him. Um, come on. <laughs> this isn't fair. One second. Let me answer it after this goes bye-bye. Good. Okay, so we don't have to go back down. Um, favorite memory? I... Hmm. I really like the Silent Princess one a lot. I feel like it, uh, you know, symbolizes her character very well. Just by describing the princess and uh, how that gets applied to her awakening of power. I also really like the father and daughter one. I feel like every memory is really just crafted well. They don't stand out too much individually, but just, you know, together as a cohesive story, it really helps 
you know? Just tell a very just poetic story of old Zelda, so. Those ones come to mind. For the Champions Belt ones, definitely the Revali one. Like, just seeing him f fly around the excellent version of his theme, like, it's really awesome. That's so nice. <laughs> like, double hit him there. That was a weak hit when I do that. Okay. Mm. There are stall enemies. Okay. That means I have to wait to do the others here. Which game do I enjoy? Uh, more Tunic or Little Gator game? They are very different games. Uh, a Tunic game is... It's definitely more on the challenging side, uh, or Little Gator games more of a casual. But, uh, so it really depends on what you like. I feel like personally I just really like the movement and world of the Gator game more, even though it's a lot shorter. Yeah. Mm. There we go. And yeah, sorry if you came here late because of uh, the early stream. I didn't really announce it very well at all because it was kind of last minute, so. Mm. Okay. I'm going to pull up the map to see what we haven't done because I do have a good uh, visualization. So we'll have to come back for the four stalls, but that's easy. It's right by a warp point. Um, we did all the moblins walking up on that hill, because it's all like that hill. Um, yep, we got those three. We did not get the pebblets here. Okay. So I can kill those four pebblets. Um, I think we got all those eyeballs, though. I can reconfirm later, but they, they seem dead. Okay, sorry. Um. It looks like we're just dealing with a couple pebblets. There's three here. I'm not sure if we got the archer and then a pebblet down there. I just want to make sure it's clear. That's one. That's the lower one, isn't it? Yeah. And there's three higher. Yeah, actually most pebblets are uh, dynamically spawned, so they're not uh, actually in fixed locations. There's really only some that are. But there's so many pebble spawns that feel like normal fixed locations, but they're not. Like right by like some abandoned buildings and whatnot. Oh, it didn't ragdoll him. Uh oh. He didn't die to fall damage. Well. <laughs> he died to shock damage. Damage is damage. I can't wait till I get Revali scale. It's gonna be so helpful. Thank you. Hey Gerudo, thank you so much for the five. Happy holidays. What am I looking to do as my next challenge run after this? Also, what features do I hope Tears of the Kingdom has? Love my runs, keep it up. Thank you. Um, for challenge runs, um, I am like 90% decided on which ones, well, we're doing just not in which order. But I feel like more than likely the next one will be the night run. So I, I, I can say that one early. Um, like 90% chance, assuming all those worked out, uh, we'll do night run next. Because I have a pretty fun idea for it that makes it a little bit different than the others. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be actually cool to do. I like the night set a lot. So thank you. Um, what features do I hope Tears of the Kingdom has? I, I really want to see something related to... Um, weapon attachments because you know in the trailer how that, there's that one shot of Link with like a flamethrower shield um what's interesting about it is that the shield that he has is just like a normal wooden shield like you, f you can find in this game with like a flamethrower head attachment so I feel like there's some sort of attachment system um for like shields or to like slightly modify your weapons somewhat not like too tediously maybe those attachments act as like you know dungeon items like that you can uh you know personalize put on different sort of things so I don't know. I feel like that can be kind of cool. So it kind of incorporates, like, the weird function of, like, past Zelda items with, like, newer stuff. Um, so thank you. I don't know. I have a couple, like, vague theories and like, what I want. 
I'm more so just kind of seeing what they do and uh, theorizing off that. Hmm. Okay, I, I think everything's good. We got the pebbles, right? I want to make sure. Yeah. Mm. Are we missing anything? Still gonna be a couple hours tonight, so I have to warp back for the stall enemies. Um. Yeah, we got the book goblins on the path. Um, I think that's everything for this. So, well, everything besides the sky platforms, because we always do that last. So let's actually do a, just a head count of what we have. Um, also, if we didn't mark, the goblins, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I think that's right. That is not including the four green dots and these platforms. So 28. I can always double check later too. Um, <coughs> okay. 22. So that brings our count up to 1, 2, 2, 2. All right. <laughs> I think so, right? Yeah, okay. We're good. Right math. So now we'll just do the, the platforms. Mark those off as well. And then, yeah, Reno Village is right over there. Then we can buy our cold armor. I was really hoping to get that jump. <laughs> mm. Thank you, old gamer. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I look away for a second and something like that happens. Uh, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. I really appreciate that. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, that's going to be really awesome. Uh, hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, yeah, you have rupees and can use emojis now. Thank you so much, old gamer. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, how nice of you. Um, man. Sorry, I'm always like a second late. Um, there we go. <laughs> Boko died for that. He distracted me. Come on, Boko. You weren't supposed to do that. Okay. Let's get all this stuff. Happy holidays and congrats on uh, 250,000. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, I'm also having like... Hard time spitting out words tonight, too. It's, there's a lot going on. Thank you. Uh-oh. Don't fall too heavily. I messed up everything. We have to redo that. Uh, sorry, I forgot that one's weird, because it's literally sideways, and it's so hard to get out, up on it. <laughs> We're all green here. Yes. Yeah. It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, happy holidays to you, too. Ooh. That means we can add more emojis, too. I think we're going to add a... Honestly, with that, we may be able to add two more. I'm not too sure. I have to check the requirements. Um, yeah, definitely we want to add the Twitch ones. And uh, once we run out of those, um, or even sooner, we could always try to make another one. So, I guess we'll see. I just don't know what we should make a new emoji out of, you know? There's always different things, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> I'll see how screw. I'm just going to bomb wipe everything. <laughs> we'll get the chest. I think it's a Rito weapon. That isn't very strong. Because I'm pretty sure we had to get that in the Rito run. And it was a pain. There. Is it there or is it not? Yeah, it's that chest right there. <laughs> <gasps> Screw it, we'll get it if we can. Just for curiosity's sake, too. Still a little far. Come on, please. <laughs> it's it's a deep lake, so you gotta be like right over it. Get ham as an emote. <laughs> Maybe. 
Also, yeah, we really have to be over it. Wow. How deep is this lake? Either that or it's one stubborn chest. No, but it, it's just a deep lake. Wow, yeah, I was barely just getting it. Ooh. Quick shot on a quick shot bow? That's gonna be a major quick shot. I know we just did all the work to get it, but like, I don't need two falcon bows. Like, it's gotta be one of my favorite bows in the game. It's it's cool, you know, everything. Uh, besides the little damage, I just like how it fires. Fires far, fires fast, but yeah. Darn. <laughs> oh well, um, it's 835. We should be able to kill those stall enemies very soon. So, in the meantime, let's get an updated count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten enemies. We, we can add ten more. Then after the stall enemies will be four. Um, I'm just going to mark off all 14 right now. And then up the count by 14. There we go. One, two, three, six. <laughs> nice. All right, it's 8.50, we should be fine. The torches are lit again. What about skeletons? Well, is it nine o'clock or is it 10 o'clock? I guess we'll see. I guess nine's too early, maybe it's 10. It seems dark enough. But then again, at the beginning of the stream, it was like pretty much bright out in the morning and there were still stall enemies, so. It's a mind of their own, truly. Okay. Guess we'll chill here on the pillar. Also, I like how the hole in there is like a heart. <laughs> I know that's used for a quest, but I just find it neat regardless. Christmas Croton emote, nice. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to really decide. Um, so yeah, I didn't say it earlier, but thank you guys for almost 300 likes on the stream. Uh, our eventual goal is going to be 600, like always, but thank you for the support. Mm. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. So come to life. Okay. I know stall enemies are weird sometimes, where if it passes the time and you're right next to them, they won't actually, like, get up. You have to actually, like, enter the area as, you know, it's already that time. And not as it's turning into the time. Really weird, let's just warp up and then warp, fly back down. Are we gonna clear the castle last? I'm not too sure. I feel like our midterm strategy here, um, I feel like is doing the Divine Beast sooner than later. Probably ending with Naboris, because we do want to clear the Yiga hideouts, because those enemies exist. Um, but once we clear all four Divine Beasts, we unlock the Champion's Beld, and that's going to be very good for, uh, well, eventually getting the Master Cycle, because that's going to help so much with travel, and just, uh, you know, quick spontaneous travel when we just need to summon our bike. So I feel like getting that uh, sooner than later is better. And plus, uh, you know, with more takedowns of Divine Beasts, we get more abilities, and a whole heart at a time is nice, too. Park container. <laughs> and the mountain glowing no, doesn't have an effect on that. But I know what you're saying. It is cool that the stall enemies aren't there on the glowing knights, though. Okay, um, where, where's the other? I think it's behind here. Hello. Plunge. <laughs> Ploppy head. Trick shot. Uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna be wasteful. Tricky enough. Okay. Everything here do down. Um. Hmm. Let's just do a, a wind bomb to get over there. I got from the top, but that's still further back. Also, that was close. I just had to throw it, so I was out of range, but they were in range. Hmm. Are they still spawning behind me? Get out of here! Doofuses. Wait, hit your shield. Okay. 
Yeah, one good wind bomb here can get us over. Also, I think that mountain has one enemy on it, so it'll be good to take out. It's literally just like one, sadly. Okay, we're a bit low, but it's fine. If this doesn't work, we'll, we'll go tower. Actually, very good. Let's heal, though. <laughs> mm, fishies, for sure. Yeah, I'm glad that camps have them. We'll throw on the campfires and, uh, you know, just in the box loot. Because the axe is good. Minor health replenishment, so we're not always cooking things when we don't need to be. Speaking of cooking, though, we are close to Rito Village, and they sell, well, the wheat. So we can finally make bread, which we've been <laughs> really starved from that for a while. Peace, more like peace. <laughs> Ultimate death quote. Peace. <laughs> I love that. Okay, wait, come at me again. <laughs> Goodbye, quarter heart. <laughs> that was a late parry, but it worked. I don't actually know how that did work, but apparently it did. Also, yeah, this is the only actual enemy on this mountain. Ooh. What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, arm club. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we have some weak stuff. Damn it. <laughs> nice. Of course, it didn't finish, though. Frost for you, and... Shock against shock. <laughs> no bonus damage, but... Yeah. Killing effect. Also, yeah, pretty much all enemies we are killing are contributing to scaling points. So, um, like the hidden XP points. So, whiz robes don't give too much, but black bacoblins and black enemies do. Nice, Thunderblade. Yeah, the more of those that we kill, the more, uh, well, harder enemies to spawn, but also better weapons and modifiers. So, that's how we're seeing just really powerful loot. Only, like, six streams in. Thank you, Kongo. We appreciate it. <laughs> Good at rhyming for Breath of the Wild. I like just making puns out of things, just for the sake of puns. Okay, um, Wizrobe ticks off one more for us. Um, we, we could wind bomb straight in. I know there's a couple enemies on the side. Well, let's see how it works. If the wind bomb works in, we'll go there. If it doesn't, then we'll take out these couple. It's not going to work. <laughs> is it? It is. Well, we have to take the opportunity. <laughs> it's fine. We deserve this. It's been too long without Rito stuff, the armor, the wheat, everything we adore. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rito Village. <laughs> nice. Oh, we are actually able to land in the village first, take the shrine, then the cutscene played. <laughs> I feel like we just did it so fast. There we go. Oh, you know what we could do? I just realized. Um, we can get the Rito armor. Maybe we could die it because uh, we don't really die our stuff very often. So I feel like we should use that more. We have a Hatena warp. Do like a red dye or something cool. This is pretty cool dyed. I know a lot of people like dyeing it white. Um, the Hylian tunic, I don't have that yet, but I like dyeing that one white. Some people like dyeing their Zora armor red for like uh, a side on look. And dyeing the Barbarian helmet's cool because every dye color is a different pattern. So those are fun to mess around with. Nice landing. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, well, first things first. Let's just start the quest thingy, because we're at the top anyways. Here, want a pot? It's yours, but... Yapes! <laughs> we're going to skim the Divine Beast dialogue, like usual. You always dye your Sheikah set green? That's interesting. 
<laughs> yeah, dying the Rita armor green or red for Christmas. That could be very fun. I guess we'll see how it looks because I don't, I don't have much experience dying the, the radar armor to be honest. There we go. Whew. There we go. Oh. We'll skip this one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> It's funny, Link has no expression, just eyes. Glowing eyes. <laughs> well, this head movements at least give half the expression. So sorry, Revali. I like Revali, but... We always skip, like, the things that we see every single time we play this. A piggy? Where? Hmm. I didn't see a pig. Um. Where are we going? Here it is. Nice. Okay. I forgot the shop was like lower than normal. Okay, let us buy this. 4,200 rupees. This stuff is expensive, especially the headpiece. But it's worth it. Snow cool. Okay. Snow cool again. The tunic. I feel like dying right away could be awesome. Maybe let's buy this. Um, maybe buy the wheat. And then uh, take a couple pit stops before the beast. Okay. Now. Let us see. Retail aesthetic? Yeah, we'll, we'll see what red or green does to it. I like dying. I feel, I feel like I underutilize the dying mechanic. But it is cool. I know some people really uh, well, use it a lot. Because it's really just... You know, brings character to special set combos, too. But all right. I know we can cut grass for this, but it's best done with that. And also just buying everything in case we want to make more fun stuff. Mm. There we go. And I don't need to buy the arrows, but I'm literally just a show of wealth here. Let's buy them. Okay, let's do that. And, uh... Hmm. Let's let's cook a couple things first. Then we'll warp to Hitano for the dying. And then we can do uh, the Divine Beast, cold stuff, and yeah. I think that'll be cool. I think to upgrade the cold stuff, you need a lot of, like, uh, heat sort of loot. So, like, fire, choo, -choo jelly, and whatnot. Because it's meant to balance each other out, so... This set requires hot things to upgrade, and the Gerudo set requires cold things, from what I remember. Um, apologies if I'm a little lost. I know I definitely saw it, and then I skimmed past it. Okay. Well, we gotta make the bread. It's been so many streams without the bread. So let's make the bread. Um. Oh, right. <laughs> gotta sort, gotta sort. Come on. We got the wheat. We got our salt. Plenty of salt. And, you know, we got to make it extra potent. Hardy radish. Make all these counts for good duration. We got the wheat. We got the salt. That means none other than the elite hardy wheat bread. We did it, finally. <laughs> At last in this playthrough, we have our bread. So, you know, the chances of positive things happening is... Only gonna get better. Truly the best way to go about it. Just more, more and more bread. <laughs> Just only eat bread. Come on. Critical? No. Mm, there we go. I need to remember something. Um, I think we have enough for the cake. Because now we have like sugar and stuff like that. So, mm, wheat, wheat, sugar, butter. Okay. If we get more wheat, we can mix the wheat, sugar, and butter for a cake base with, like, a nut. I don't know. Nut cakes are pretty fun to make. I just like assessing my options now that we have actually better ingredients. Um, 
I guess we could get wheat here. Potentially. Because wheat you get from the grass in like this area of the map. But still, it's kind of not as common as I would like it to be. Oh, wheat. <laughs> Let's make a cake. Okay. Butter, butter. Make the secret ice cream? <laughs> I wish I could. It's not second wind, sadly. Mm. Okay, sorry, one more, because I'm distracting myself with some nice fancy cooking. Okay, there we go. Well, let's get the stuff. We need wheat. We need some sugar, now that we have that. And butter, and... Mm -hmm. Let's go with the... Let's go with the acorn. Yeah. Cook that up. Let's be a little fancy. Critical. Extra fancy. Nut cake. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little dollop in the side and yeah. Gives the cake a pleasant texture and a simple understated sweetness. <laughs> there we go. It's a nice, a, a cozy holiday themed cake. So, okay. Let's go up to Hiteno and, uh, Die the armor now. And then we'll be back to do, do the Divine Beast. So. There we go. Hmm. Thank you, No Face, for the $2. All my videos have been watching me for a year and a half now. Awesome. Uh, I'm glad you've been a part of it so, for so long. So, thank you. Also, yeah, people were talking about a piggy earlier. I I, I don't know. Um, I, I didn't see a pig in the game, personally. So, there might be, you know? Who knows? Unless, you know, Piggy's secretly raiding the stream. Who knows? <laughs> um, I took the wrong warp. No, I didn't. I just didn't have the other warp. I was like, wait a second. Why were we at the tech lab? That explains everything. Bunk. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Not speedy enough. Also, wait, there's one thing I can start really quick. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to talk to you. Um, you know that one quest where it's like the sheep rustlers, where, uh, you know, the Bokoblins stole someone's sheep? Um, that camp of Bokoblins doesn't spawn unless you start the quest. And I'm pretty sure the person who uh, starts the quest is up here somewhere. I don't remember, though. Obviously, we're not going to do it now, but I feel like since we're here, we should probably, you know... Try. Is it you? Hey, you. Uh, but on the edge. Oh. There we go. Interesting. They didn't have a thing about them. Which monsters? Okay. That's good. That's going to be for later. I'm pretty sure if we don't talk to her, um, the, the Bokoblins don't spawn. Because his quest doesn't start until you talk to her. So there's going to be a few packs of enemies like that where uh, we have to do some sort of, you know, like trigger for the enemies to appear. Or a quest. Okay, yeah, right. The farmer. That makes sense. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking. Okay, let's go to the dye shop. <laughs> dye shop. Okay. Let's do it. Um, hold out for that once. I'm going to see all of them. Okay, blue. Interesting. Yeah, not all of them work as well because, like, a lot of the central colors stay the same. With, like, some exceptions. Like, sometimes the trim does change, like, in the center. Um, white's just always cool. But the red is pretty fun. Uh, Crimson, not so much. Uh, that's pretty fun and festive. <laughs> also, that's cool, too. I, I feel like that works pretty well for going across the snow. I shouldn't see other colors. I feel like I do want to go for a festive color, though. Brown's pretty neutral. Orange is very bright. <laughs> Black. Let me see what it's... Okay, at its base... It could be cool to just dye the top. L let me see. Oops, I should have just changed the clothes. <laughs> I 
I want to see how this looks like. Because sometimes it's cool to just die part of it. Because, like, on this armor, naturally, the top and bottom don't match. They just have a good contrast with each other. So, you know, we can apply it to the rest. Choose a color. Okay. The red and blue. <laughs> yeah, because its accent color is blue now instead of the red. And let's see how it looks with the pants. Okay. We have plenty of apples, so that's a no-brainer. Wait, what else can you use? <laughs> Rubies instead of apples, you know, if you're feeling bougie. Um, but we're feeling efficient and effective, so let's do that. Let's die. That I really want to see how it looks with the pants, because I feel like this could be a better look. <laughs> Got to see the cutscene at once. <laughs> Apple water. If only apples were that potent at dying. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's see how this looks. They're like red and blue. Oh, that's kind of neat. <laughs> It gives a totally different look. I, I kind of like it better than just literally dying the bottom red too. It gives a totally different look. Like, you know, Rito's sometimes have like a multicolor thing going on, especially with how like, I don't know, their old appearances were. I feel like that works. I feel like I can see it either, but like this dies like the, the frontal plate or it matches like the front plate in the armor where if it was dyed red, it wouldn't. Um, I dig that. And then also there's not much difference, but the headpiece has like little red braids. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's more festive looking. It's like we're wearing a Christmas sweater with like a nice, you know, nice pair of pants. So I dig it. I really dig this look actually. Yeah, I don't always like dying a full set at once because sometimes it overwrites uh, the colors. Like if like the top and bottom have distinctly different colors, but if you just dye the same color, it kind of ruins the appeal. Depends on the set, of course, but I dig it. Where the top looks like a Santa coat, yeah. Yeah, he's dyed the top one of this one navy. Interesting. Mm. Sorry you're late. What do you miss? Uh, we've been just getting over to the Hebert area, so didn't miss too much. Well, I mean, too much revolving around the winter stuff, rather. But we spent a lot of time just killing stuff, you know, from like the central region starting all the way to here. It was really fun, but, uh, you know, we're actually going to be in the cold area for a while now. So, including the Divine Beast. So let's do it. I dig this. No uh, upgrades, though. I think we should stop, take a stop at the Fairy Fund. Uh, you know, it's a good break from just slaughtering everything, too. So let us take that break, too. Go to the Fairy Fountain. Get some fairies, um, you know, upgrades. I feel like we might be able to upgrade this set. I just honestly don't know, so. We'll figure it out, though. <laughs> you feel like the warm dublet is still the closest one to an ugly Christmas sweater? That's true. <laughs> it's like tattered in that right way, you know? I dig that. Always a great evening when Corton streams. Thank you. It has been a very good evening. And yeah, um, as I mentioned, I won't be here next week, but the following week. So, obviously, um, you know, until then, it's going to be, you know, Christmas time and New Year's. So, hope everyone has a good, you know, end of their year, holiday season, all of that. Um, and then, yeah, next year is going to be really great just with everything Zelda related. So, really going into an awesome time because it's not every year that we get a new Zelda game. It's like once every five, in this case, six. For, for like the main ones at least, so it truly is exciting. It's a year to look forward to. Mm. There we go. And again, we swoop up all the fairies. It's always the high ones that I'm worried about. Here, she gets set for this. Not quite. 
Okay. I feel a little bit better with the Sheikah set on. Okay, ultimately didn't need it, but that's fine. Sweet boy. 500 rupees? Well, we got that just from that one guy, so. We're at a nice even number, 1900. I know my thing kind of covers it up. It's like the one thing that I cover up. Sometimes my weapons on the bottom left. But it's the best we can do. Whew. And... Very. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some upgrades. I know we just don't have a lot of armor in general, so that ain't the most helpful. Mm. Yeah, I gotta see all the die changes more. Like, I've seen them before, but I don't know. Making more custom outfits is cool. Uh. Shika, I usually leave base, so. Okay, um... I can mostly upgrade that one. Um, okay, I guess we do have the red choo-choos. That's fair. I don't think we'll have enough to upgrade it to level two. It'll be nice, though, because having unfreezable is good. And just extra defense. Yo, what is required for that? Um, am I blind or can I not see? Oh, it's right there. It's just so, like, darkened out. Okay. Saflina, I, I think you get warm Saflina. I know there's a lot of places in the desert. Um, I think it's mainly warm areas. Um, so, yeah. You can't, sadly, but... Uh, hey, extra armor points will be good. Mm. And we're going from the Phantom Armor, which has eight apiece, to this that has five. So, we'll take five over three apiece. And then also, yeah, we'll just die that. Mm. Or... Pff. It's died. We'll upgrade uh -huh. it. The mm. so Dublay changes all of it when you die it. Uh, Strap becomes a different, a contrasting shade for each color. Uh -huh. Interesting. I gotta, I gotta mess around with the Dublay more. Okay. Um. We'll just upgrade two of the stealth. I know we can't fully do it yet. Um. And the stealth step bonus isn't too good, it's just the night speed up. It just gives you a little bit of speed up, which is something, but other step bonuses are way more practical and noticeable, too. My first piece of the run? No. Uh, we did uh, Ruta last stream. Yeah, and uh, for the kill count, okay, uh, 111 more to maintain the average of the last stream. Um, I know the beast has 11, and that includes Windblight, um, Windblight, the one Guardian Scout, and uh, nine Malice Eyes. Okay, well, I think we're good. Let's uh, plop on our stuff. And go for it. Nice. Want to go back and try to diet? Maybe a little later. I, I do kind of want to uh, do the Divine Beast, because... I'm pretty antsy for it now. But, yeah, maybe later, because, uh, well, you know, any coal resistance is going to be helpful, so we're going to use it to some degree. It sucks that you can't uh, upgrade that one. But I like how they made the unupgradable sets upgradable in Second Wind, which was neat. Um, the metal size count as enemies? Yes. Um, Pretty much anything that has like enemy, you know, characteristics we're counting. So, in simplest terms, yeah, Malicize, there's a few dozen of them around the world, mostly in like uh, Divine Beasts. So, we decided to include them. Because it is something that uh, does go away and only responds with the Blood Moon. So, yeah. Divine Beast should be very quick, yes. No thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I know there's some enemies over here we can take on. Come on, Rito Link. That's not good when the bomb is still going. <laughs> Wait, there's actually a good wind bomb platform. 
Or wait. You know, we have the money. We should take a nice Rito rest. Maybe this was meant to be. Like a nice uh, Rito down bed. Yeah. 80 rupees. Sleep till morning. Do this thing before night. There we go. And we have our hearty bread already. So we, we cook three pieces of hearty bread. So they'll be helpful. <laughs> Ward off one shots. There we go. Nice and cozy. It was a blood moon night. That wasn't cozy. I was... I just wanted to take a nice nap, you know? Blood Moon catching me off guard here. Okay, well, if it is a Blood Moon night, we do have to do the whole... Uh, the pushback sequence again. But in the meantime, we can do temporary delays because being in the Divine Beast doesn't... Uh, well... A cause the blood moon to happen that night. So we'll do the divine beast segment and then we'll do a full pushback again. It's fine. <laughs> I forgot the challenge for a second. Yeah, literally. I did too. It's totally okay. Sometimes I'm just, you know, so comfortable and happy just going around the world, slaughtering things, doing fun things, and then that happens. Okay. What if we go to noon and it'll be okay? Because morning is going to the next day. What makes the Blood Moons much more ominous. So the, the Link noises in the background. Just faintly. He's relaxed. It's fine. But okay. Yay. And uh, temporary stamina. Fully rested. Okay. Well, we can do that. Um, I'm just gonna save the game. Face was priceless. I was so caught off guard. I'm like, no! <laughs> Sneaky Blood Moon. It's wearing some stealth armor of its own. Oh, okay. I can't climb. <laughs> uh, this way. Yeah, this way. We're fine. Good popping. Drains one heart, but we'll live. Okay, I know there's those guys in the field. Two silvers. No issue, though. Shah Wervo Shrine. <laughs> Love these names. Shah Vordo. Mm. We gotta dehorse them. Carefully. With minimal horse pain. Or none. That's even better. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Take him that way. Oh, he's spear. I don't like spears. The tree. Stupid tree. And hit him from afar. That's good. Um. Yeah. We have a Lionel Crusher that's better in general. Oh, of course the dynamic lizzle. Yeah, in the cold areas, there's going to be a lot of these guys. They're not part of the counts. They're literally just randomly spawned. How, how do we miss all that? Better. Oh, ah, I'm cold too. Affects us all, but thank you. <laughs> Bonus damage where it wasn't needed, but thanks nonetheless. It meant well. Okay, um, that's two more down for the counts. Rito flight range. Okay, let's update that. It's been a while since we killed something, honestly. We were going ham earlier. And plus Divine Beast stuff is going to be slower. Mm. Yeah. I think we're ready for a meltdown. Flight range. 
All right, Taba. Pretty standard stuff here. Yeah. Low the Orvali theme. I love how it's his voice actor too. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. It's a very cool voice, <laughs> deep voice. Yeah, the pers person who voices them does him, Ravali, uh, and the Great Deku Tree. Um, there we go. Let's. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Taking advantage of the pot. Okay. Hello. Also, yeah, he has like red wings on his armor, and I have a red suit, so it fits. <laughs> I can help you. Bometto. Okay, and we'll do this the easy way. Or the efficient way, rather. There's no uh, complicated way to do this next part. That's fine. I gotta do a little challenge. <laughs> Five targets in three minutes. It's still the simplest in the game. Whew. Mm. Okay. Same with challenge runs when you're trying to be conservative with bow durability and arrows. Not that way. But that way. There we go. Using this in an amiibo run was so helpful. Because, like, that run, you really can't waste weapons, so... If you can bomb it out, do it. And one more. Two more. <laughs> one more. I I'm great at counting. You know what? Fine. No testing my patience. Perfect. Just testing that archery. And it works pretty good. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> You like Rivali because you always love the characters who call you out for not actually being the special best player everyone makes you out to be. You know, it's a pretty great, like, antithesis to that, you know? It's like, every character looks up to you, so it's like, good to have characters that kind of challenge you, sort of thing. Even if, from their own perspective, they think that way of themselves, and that's why they feel that way to you. So, I like his character. I think it it's a good balance from the rest of them that idolize you, you know? So, well said. 20 bomb arrows. Mm. Okay. Huh. Uh, I just can't watch. <laughs> yeah, I can't watch people get terrorized. Sorry. All right. Um, so, while this plays out, I am going to quickly use the restroom. I'll take about a minute and a half. Um, in the meantime, we're going to have a guest watch the stream. And uh, I think Piggy will do quite well. We'll just let the music loop in the background because it's awesome. So, here. Piggy stream. Piggy will be joined by Bobby, the bomb. And uh, enjoy. Hopefully, the uh, beat the same segment and the game and everything. And uh, I'll be back. Bye.
returned. Go Piggy and Bobby. Woo! Bobby first. Oh, wait. Maybe together. Oh, no. <laughs> Goodbye. But we're good. Hey. Uh, where to put my controller? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. Well, I forgot the music doesn't actually start yet. It was just calming breeze. That's that's nice. And a little background. <laughs> there we go. Well, we can do it. We'll just have to blow up this stuff. Water my chest. <laughs> I didn't fully dry my hands, I guess. <laughs> Miss Piggy, it's okay. Piggy right here. Piggy's always here, so. And, uh, Microfloid, so. <laughs> Uh, I like how it always highlights I need to prepare. Like, no, we're fine. <laughs> Go for it. It's not that difficult. It's targeting us. Prepare for, like, the easiest boarding seg segment. It does feel cool, though. That's the one thing it has going for it. Mainly because of the awesome music and the setting. But, like... Expected a bit more gameplay. Also, right, you can't use the multi-shot because the multi-shot nerfs. I almost forgot. <laughs> um, Because these... These cannons have like 80 damage. Oh, bomb arrows do 40. For like the explosion. So like literally that means that you can't uh, do that with the multi-shot. Because even that, um, yeah, not fully. It sucks though. Because bomb arrows and multi-shots only do like 24 damage instead of 40. We're in hot. Such a bad nerf. <laughs> You think it's hilarious that in the Wind Blight's uh, rematch and champions failed? They can't give you Revali's book because it'll be too easy. Literally, yeah. Um, with those rematches, you kind of, you know, they kind of have a different approach to weapons. Like, I'm pretty sure even in Thunder Blights, uh, they give you like an edge of duality, which is Sheikah. I'm pretty sure. It, it's, it's been a bit. I don't fully remember, but I just know the weapon combos are a bit different from the normal aesthetics. It's targeting us. go no challenge and yeah we could use the bomb method uh we'll do it for this last one just for the fun but you know we have durability to spare oh my god yeah when the blood moon spawned earlier like just quick panic close the game as long as that save doesn't have afterwards we're fine even if it does if we have a previous save we can just load that luckily we like just saved too Oops, not quite. It's easier with remote bombs plus because you do more damage. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten shot by these before. Maybe I have? I, I don't remember. Do we miss every single one? Jeez. There we go. <laughs> wow, I was... I had no spatial relationship there. There we go. It only takes four. If you're using the unupgraded ones, it's a lot longer. We just did it a very safe way, but we have to be like one right after the other with the normal bombs because it's half the damage and even more regen time. Um, so to counteract the regen, yeah, you, you gotta be fast. Wouldn't Piggy Blight be Dark Beast Cannon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Link. Bad Piggies. History. Whew. The only pigs we like turning into bacon is Ganon. So. Smoked pig. Yeah. It's still funny. Just the whole thing with like the Dark Beast fight. Like, I still consider it more of an interactive cutscene. They could still technically die in, but that's why we never even include it in the runs. Because it's just so like, it's Dark Beast Ganon, you know? The game ends at Climbing again for me. That's always my thought process into it. It's an interactive cutscene that you well, could potentially I've fail. I had a you would show <laughs> Music sounded like Star Wars? Yeah, like that boarding segment. Like That's that's like the biggest vibe it always gave me was Star Wars. I think that's why I liked it so much, too. There we go. Made it to the stream. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to everyone here. Um, we spent a good portion of the stream just getting here. Getting the Rito stuff, um, 
Just all the enemies on the way in, including the two towers, Ridgeland and Tabantha. So now we're doing the beast, and then after the beast, we're gonna make a plunge into Hebra, so. I'm excited for that. There's a way to get into Hebra from, well, the Rito Village area with like the ladders. But okay, in here there's 11 enemies. We just killed one because the eyeballs count. So, nine eyeballs, one guardian scout, and wind light. Let's go one, two. Oh, that is fine because I can do some stuff down here. I think there is... I think they're on the outside, actually. Good thing for shield, Sir Pops. There we go. Three. Mm. Can't use our amazing stuff. I forgot extra health. Let's see, three, four. So there's five more Malisize. I'm not sure where they all are. Could be one at like some odd end. Okay, four out of the 11 enemies done. It'll mark them all off like in one cluster. Okay. There's still some stray pools in Malice, but that's fine. There we go. <laughs> it's a lot easier than I remembered. Kind of have to go for it. Okay. Hey, there we go. Five more. So five enemies down, five more to go. So we'll just do 44. Okay. So once this is all done, there'll be 1250. So a quarter of the way to 2000. There's five more Malisize, one more Wimblite. And obviously the stuff in here is going to be very just breezy. So we'll just do it. There's a Malisize back of war respawn with travel gate. Ooh. Sapphire chest? Okay, good to know. Yeah, I do remember the, the chest on like the beak, I'm pretty sure. I've gotten all the chests once before. Just obviously I can't recite every single one by memory. Oh, I see. Okay. Thank you. Much appreciated. Aha, I see it. <laughs> I didn't care to look behind me. Which is helpful to do. Okay. Where is it? <laughs> uh, I think the eye is right there. No? Wait. <laughs> I saw a little shiny. There we go. Boop. No patience. <laughs> I wasn't even, like, fully guarding it. Just... Kind of blocking out of you. Awesome, thank you. Now we just got four more Malisize in Windblight. I think the only... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Well, obviously there's a good amount of Guardian Scouts in Naboras. And Rudani has some too. But really, this, this is like the one beast with like no Guardian Scouts or like enemies really. It's just the one. So. That we already killed. And there's another one here. That's a mandatory one. Five, six. So three more eyes then? Good to know. I don't know. I'm not taking my normal routes. <laughs> there we go. A route's a route though. If Topaz equals banana gem, the sapphire equals blueberry gem. Ooh, yeah. And a raspberry for a... Uh, or, or it could be Apple Gem for Ruby. Hmm. Are Rubies uh, Apple Gems or are they Strawberry Gems? I don't know. Ooh! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we actually have the slots now. Very good. Okay, let's do that. Um, I think there's anything else fancier. Strawberry, Apple, oh no. <laughs> I mean, Strawberry works because if, you know... If we already have blueberry, blueberry and strawberry would be nice. Yeah, but apple's fun too. 
There's no bad idea here. It could be interchangeable too. What would diamond be then? I think that's the harder question. Nice. Not that we need that. Um, let's find extra time to play around in here. Rubbery raspberry. Diamond vanilla gem. Hmm. Then there's also opal here, so... <laughs> and there's amber. Just orange. Be basic like that, why not? I don't know. A topaz banana gem just works so much because literally you find so many topazes in the Yiga hideout. And I forgot exactly what challenge run it was, but we just... Like, all the loot that we kept picking up between the chests, like... We just perfectly hit every single topaz chest in a row without realizing it. Um... It was, we were literally only getting topazes and bananas, so just kind of... Kind of stuck. Okay, um. Flint? What gem? That's the coal gem. Even though it's flint, but. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? It literally just happened up there. That's not what I was doing. Well, thanks, game. <laughs> nice. Okay, see, we still need three more. I just don't know where. Flint is Blackberry. Ooh. Blackberries are cool. I, I can't get Flint that cool title. Or maybe. <laughs> it's Opal Egg Gem. <laughs> We're just personifying all the gems with food. Happily. Flint is Black Licorice. Ooh, nice. We can get another Shield or Ancient Bow. Speaking of Licorice, though, who here actually likes Licorice? And... Sorry, by licorice, I mean black licorice. Um, I get razzed a lot for liking black licorice because people say it's an old person candy, and I, to that I say, if you like the candy, it's, it's a good candy. A candy knows no good age. But also, yeah, I know some candies are just old. But I don't know, black licorice is just good, so. I think it's just the fact that I somewhat grew up on it, and it's one of those, like, acquired tastes where it's like, if you grow up on something that's, like, seen as bizarre, um, it tastes fine. Same even goes with, like, coffee or, like, wine, stuff like that. But no. I like black licorice. <laughs> it's very good. Not bad. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, some do, some don't. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not totally alone here. <gasps> you know. That's fine. Okay, I'm not sure if my brain droned out. I, do I only have one more now? I don't know. <laughs> no shame in liking black licorice. Yeah, it it happens. Saying as if it's a bad thing or something. Like, yeah, it happens. I I like I like this type of candy. You know. Obviously, I'm such a criminal. Uh. The Twizzlers are good. You know, it's like different in terms of licorice, but... Panda licorice, yes. <laughs> mm. Sorry, speaking about the Malice count, I don't remember if there's one more Malice Eye or not. Because there was nine of these eyes in total. Hmm. We're at eight, right? Unless I pop one, like... Without even realizing it, because like, sometimes I tend to do that when I'm just like in a divine beast. I feel like that's where my mind tends to drone the most. Because I've done these a billion times. Oh, wait, nope. There we go. <laughs> you can kind of cheese it that way if you accidentally stasis the thing. Uh, if you unstasis it right before it goes through, then the fan will pick up instantly. Hmm. It's your first time watching my live stream, but. You watch my channel every day. Glad you enjoy. Um, I think there's one more. Yeah. No, it's either one more or zero more. Sorry, I don't know why I got that lost in my head. I'm pretty sure we have one more eye. Because I can definitely recount eight of them, but there's nine eyes. But it's also important that we do this because I can't really go back. It 
could just be one that's like sneaky. Like I, I never knew it existed or never thought about it. Getting up isn't that important. Just go. <laughs> oh. How did we not see that earlier? There we go. And that's it then, right? Huh. Mm. The random fun <laughs> to, to figure out the gems. Yeah. It, it is awesome. What strategy do I use to kill wind blights? Uh, arrows. I think arrows is a very uh, in-depth strategy for wind blights because, you know, we, we truly need the best for the hardest blight. Yeah, sorry. It's still going to give us the biggest trouble once we get into, uh, well, basically everything with th Thunder Blight and that beast. Because we will have to take on the Yiga hideouts. Um, but I feel like once we do it, we'll be in an okay position. It just, we got to take it room by room, killing all the Blade Masters and uh, Yiga spawn in there. But yeah, all the other beasts, not a problem. Hmm. We got them all, right? All, all Nine Eyes. I just want to make sure there's like one other spot I want to check. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doubting myself. For some reason, I just thought I messed up the count, but I know I didn't. Yeah, we got nine eyes. What if we go choppy in there? I'm kind of curious. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, <laughs> I was expecting to spit out the other end here. Okay, we're definitely fine. Um, you want to do it by five, and uh, that means 12, 40, 9? Come on, the one time I'm messing up the count. Okay. <laughs> 12, 49. We should be okay. There we go. Well, I think we're ready for one blight. Let's just eat an apple so we're nice and topped off in our health. Like that. And I am feeling... Hmm. Nice savage strategy. Okay. Use bomb arrows for wind blights? Uh, I, I don't, because blights take less damage from bombs. So, it's not that much. It's only like 20% less. But they have like a hidden armor against it. So, I will just do this with a nice multi-shot. Because more arrows hit the eye, faster you can get them down too. Where? He's up high, isn't he? You know, fine, be that way. We'll start this off a little different then. Actually, can my shield deflect his beams? I I don't think so. But I don't think I've ever tried. We're gonna try if I can deflect his beams. Oh. <laughs> okay, don't tornado me. Come on, you have to use your gun, I'm far. What a stupid strategy. I can just outrun it. Ah, how did a volley die to you? Badly damaged already. We gotta buy another soon. It's okay, fine. Do your thing. You're getting wallop though. Stop tornadoing! You're making this fight very uninteresting. Oh. I guess we're invincible. I'll take it. Nice. Two shots. And then... Oh, nice. Surprised that didn't get him down. <laughs> that did. Okay. Sorry. No more f just messing around. Yeah, Royal Clobber. These guys really like to spring up, though. <laughs> he only has 1,200 health. It's fine. But he knows that he can just teleport away to regen. Points for that, I guess, but... Ah. It's not too bad. I feel like Divine Beast fights are only hard when you're trying to push them right at the start now. Regen makes it a little annoying, but... If you have any semblance of a good weapon, that's 
That's the game for them. Duplex bowls are nice for this too. Get two cozy and precise shots. Yeah. Flumbles off the edge. Oh, okay. <laughs> he really did. Yeah, I'm not sure why we didn't get hit in the tornado. I think we're just above like the hitbox. That's fine. <laughs> I'm playing this cozily. Okay. You can see it more because you can see where his uh, side things are. Oh. That's fine. Spin to win. Get him. Go in, Blaze. <laughs> Behead him. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not very climactic when you, uh, you know, have just punishing weapons. Like finale tiered weapons, but no. Yeah. I think the result is better with a uh, well, nice heart container and new champion ability. There we go. One heart better for going through a harder area. I do want to activate. Oh, the Blood Moon? Yeah, we should be fine. I just got to remember to do it. Okay. I can't second guess the fact that we didn't get all the eyes. We, we got all the metal size. I know we did. Yeah, I'm just reviewing the footage one second. I don't have to reload the save. Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. Yeah, now we're good. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. Oh, sorry, Ravali. <laughs> Your power is now mine. You don't have use for it as a spirit. Red. What am I drinking? Water. I drink a lot of water. Otherwise, I shrivel up. So, it's important. Okay, but now I think, yeah, it'll be fun to kind of plunge into Hebra. Um, we can take the southern entrance. Um... Just kind of go up the mountain. And we have a war point at the flight range. And also a volley scale. So we're going right into it, but I think we're pretty prepared. Obviously having slightly more upgraded armor is nice, but I didn't get those Saflinos. Oh, sorry, buggy. I could get the Ravali bow. Do we have a... S oh, we do, actually. Hmm. I feel like it'd be actually fun to use the champion weapons. We usually just... I don't know why we have such a habit of, like, just hoarding them in playthroughs, but I'm just going to use them more. Might as well. Because it's like, oh, it's a champion weapon. I don't want it to break. I feel like I've only restored a champion weapon once, and that was in the Zora run. Yeah. Actually use this stuff. There we go. 28 times 3. Less damage than the Savage Bow, but much better range and draw rate. So... Very tactful, and it will look very cool with uh, our stuff, too. Nice. Yeah. Has nice fling on it. All right. Um, let's just go warp to the fly range, and we can take this path up, and we'll we'll figure that out. Okay, first thing, uh, we'll update the count to compensate for Wind Blight, because he's done. Um, so I think now... Yeah, pull up the map. <laughs> it's been a while since we updated. Of course, it's like Keese randomly in the lake. I gotta take out sometime. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, there's gonna be some stuff. Uh, there's like that initial, like, path up. Also, sorry, one second. Yeah, <laughs> we got this guy too. That was the electric wizard robe. He's just like one on a mountain. Um, so yeah, there's a whole path like up. We can take that. It gets more and more dense. Uh, the closer we get to war point, the better then. And we can still use our trial medallion, so... I'll just kind of keep doing that and uh, see how the ascent goes. Also, I like the snow-covered shrines. It's, it, it makes sense, but it's, it's just cool. Mm. Bye, Moose. You give amazing meat, and we need the health. Sorry, Ancient Shield. When we hit another war point, we'll probably buy another. Um, not super important for this, because, I mean, snow just has very low friction anyways, so... Any shield will work good. 
But here we are. The cozy lodge and the fire. Greetings, traveler. This looks just as troubled as ever. I mean, we are heading into Hebro with uh, pretty weak armor. What is my fortune? So much blackness. Oh, the void I'm going to be in. No, die. Buddy, just wait like three seconds. Three. Uh, wait, may maybe four. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> in the backflip? <laughs> wait, that was awesome. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stare at that for a second. Literally in the backflip phase, caught the effect of the wind. Wow, that powerful while being still? I think your soul belongs to the void, mister. Uh, okay. I don't know what to make of that. Okay, we'll have to keep going. And up here. Luminous. What's in here? Hebra Trailhead Lodge. It's kind of like the cabin at the start of like a, a nature trail. That's why I like this area. Because like, that's literally what it's supposed to be. Also, I'll take that. Using a OP weapon to break that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Salmon. Oh, there's our warm Saflina. What's in the diary again? Excavation hut notes. By Selmy, the Duchess of Downhill. Whether you've come to Hebrew Mountain to shield surf, the slopes, hunt treasure, or just take a walk, you must remember, this mountain will kill you. As we've seen already, uh, the accident rate on this mountain is too high to measure. And before anything else, you must dress appropriately for the weather. Not like you're heading to Hyrule Field. Yeah, Selmy's the person who has the... Uh, the, the shield surfing game. So, I guess it's cool to like read like the travel notes before your expedition. Despite the dangers though, the snowy peak really is extremely beautiful and it's an ideal spot for shield surfing, definitely. I want as many people as possible to enjoy shield surfing, so I'll leave behind this manual for survival on the mountain. Oh, yeah. Left a few things behind on the mountain trails and at the base of the flakes painted. So, that's good to know. If you're in trouble, spot a flag and head towards it. Because there'll be items. Someone else added notes. Uh, <laughs> Sell me, baby. I think I'm a better shield surfer. If I prove it, can we get merit? <laughs> this total loser will never win. Just a simp. Just straight up. I didn't know what love was until I saw Selmy sliding down the slopes. I can't believe you retired. Where did you go? Jeez, what is with this person? <laughs> uh a little too lonely. Selmy, thank you for leaving the food. I'll make good use of it. <laughs> Here in the hut. I saw some kid north of Cold Snap Hollow. He looked like he was pretty great at shield surfing. Selmy, thanks for the food. <laughs> Why is it all written and just... <laughs> you couldn't have had your own book? I mean, I guess that there's empty pages. Uh, seriously saved my life. Who was reading this, please take all the food you need. <laughs> That's such a random diary in this game. I almost just forgot about it. <laughs> then again, it's like, when am I ever here? Not too often. Which is kind of funny, though. Okay. Well, that, that was a trip. Um, I guess let's take the path up. Just some ladders. Oh, what does this say? Hebrew Mountain Climbing Path. Awesome. <laughs> Start this nature trail. Into the holiday region. Hey, Viv. <laughs> Whoosh. Mm. Okay. Stuff by the flags. Yeah, I, I rarely take this path up. But I think that it's cool that it has like a starting like expedition trail. With dangerous snowballs. That's how you die. Mm. Beware the rocks. <laughs> Indeed. Those are always fun. Oh, we got gold lizzles now. And a bouncy choo-choo. He's so happy. Here. Freeze. Oh, and the fox, too. Not my intention. What? <laughs> Link just did a loop-de-loop. -loop. Again? Okay. 
They only stay for three seconds. The other guys stay for 30, but... Gold enemies have extra resistance to that. Also, sorry, Fox. Crystal Fox, no. Oh, Snowball. Last ditch effort there, I guess. Woo! I should not be using that there. Okay. Cook him. Yeah, really gonna be a weapon suck. We don't have that damage up. But we'll find extra weapons here. Mm. Mm. I thought I saw something charging to me, <laughs> but a mirage nonetheless. Mm. Peplets. <laughs> Love these guys. I just really wish I had the, the freeze resistance stuff. Okay, so on this path up, there's a few enemies. Uh, yeah, that pebblet was one of them. It wasn't a random one. There's a couple more up here, too. Kind of chunk by chunk. But it's a cool ascent up. <laughs> and the wolves don't count now. They really try to hunt you down, but really they're just tuckering themselves out. Ooh, a baby camp. Fire everywhere. Wow, I torched him, then he flew in the air. Oh, classic. <laughs> Fire everywhere. Oh, not on that end of the hill. <laughs> there we go. When in doubt, fire it out. There we go. Take that and then uh, a big spin here. There we go. Right between them. It's truly the best application. <laughs> nice. He's not dead yet. Okay, you die then. Whoosh. And then for both of you? Not quite. No. There we go. Ow. Not yet? What? Fine. Stager. Damn. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, Just extra fire. Shock. We have elementals. We're literally going to waste everything. Three shot. Get your head out of the rock. That's not allowed. <sighs> Annoying. <laughs> is he torched alive? He is. Okay, good. Okay, five enemies down and heroes are ready. Ah. Proving to be one slippery slope, apparently. Fine, I'll get you guts. <laughs> Tumble guts, get back. <laughs> Eventually. It would have fallen for ages otherwise. I say so many things today. Storage is going to be full. Well, it would be because I do have a habit of saving a lot of stuff. But uh, if you have an SD card, the video cap limits raise to 1,000 instead of 100. So I'm happy I have that. But I do take a lot of videos. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice just having on my Switches on too. Okay. Um, up the counts by five. One, two, five, six. Yeah, I like being snow. <laughs> Who needs tumbleweeds when you got tumble guts? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's silly, because, uh... Yeah, who needs shield surfing when you got gut surfing? Sure, <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Also, high barrel. How do you get there? I forgot there's stuff on those. Um, flags. So I guess I was flag loop, but I got hit. So some of the flags will have the loot. Um, okay, next thing's next on the map. So I gotta pull this up, because some of these are very spaced. Um, we did you, Traveler, and we did this path of enemies. Now we got this peak. There's a lot of enemies on the peak. <laughs> oh, they're all like peblets besides these guys. Um, okay, we, we could try to hit that peak. And eventually... Uh, Kind of make our way east to get to the tower, too. Oh, but for now, we have Revali's Gale. <laughs> Thanks, Viv. Oh, I'm putting Sam on blast. He leaves exactly one sip of drink and then hoards all the unfinished, unfinished drinks in the fridge. I, I do that. It's like... I, I don't like wasting stuff, um, especially drinks. So sometimes I'll put, like, one last piece of food or drink in the fridge because I want to save it. But I wasn't hungry for that last bit. 
Um, I understand that's pretty annoying, but uh, I, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm being uh, smart. No, yeah, um, <laughs> sorry. Thanks for putting me on blast. <laughs> it's a habit I can't shape. And plus, part of my problem is that I over pour things. It's like if I pour a glass of milk for myself or just like any drink, Sometimes it's more nice drinking it when it's like all the way full. Like, you know, you have a lot, like when you pour a small cup of something, it just like, you have to really ration your sips. But if you pour yourself a large glass, even if you're not gonna drink a lot, you don't feel guilty for taking bigger sips. So that's why I usually pour big drinks and I don't finish it. So there we go. That's my weird mentality and just how it is. <laughs> so you're welcome, Viv. Whoop! How do we not get frozen? There we go. <laughs> um. I have time to move away. Get them all. You too. Oh. Of course, he did a loop around just to light his weapon on fire. That's not smart. You're not good against them. Yeah, it was inevitable. That was kind of funny, though. Okay, that's a huge camp. Um, I don't know the best way. I wish there was explosive bomb barrels, but there's not. Hmm. There we go. Burn him away. No one sees me. Oh. Maybe you don't? Maybe you do? The Moblin did though? Wait, that's perfect! I can sneak strike him. Oh no, he's going back. You weren't supposed to do that. It's okay, the Moblin saw me. We can kite him. Let's kite him. There we go. Other guy's interested though. We have a little time to kill him, so it's fine. Back up. It's fine. We got this. Let's save up. I, I <laughs> to prepare for the worst here. I just up built him down in bed. Mm, I don't have any big punishing attacks. Lionel Crusher. We can alternate for a bit, but it still is a lot. Oh come on! Don't waste my durability. Can it do that? A lot of hits. Thank you, Tammy, for the two. Ow! My health. We just used up everything in this fight. Okay, stop that regen. Very annoying. Okay, and beat him back. <laughs> Good guys just have so much health, and we don't have attack up. Yeah, we're really going to the section early. Yeah, thanks, Tammy, for the two. Sorry, I was in the middle of that. Oh, wow. A 36 one to a 60. So good replenishments will happen. When we're patient enough to let them happen. Okay. Will he just catch me? Oh, nope. All alerted. Early? Oh, come on. Thought that would have worked. We could two end at this, though. Yes? There we go. Stun them both and stun lock them then? Come on, quick. Ah, just that one, which is fine. And no, no not him. I'm dodging the arrow simultaneously. Not that one. I think that's my last arrow or fairy. Good. Um. Wow, yeah, these, these guys are just really tough. <laughs> Kiva really is a hard area. But you just fell through. Oh, wow. I know he's trying to tongue-wet me. Couldn't have that. Oh, there we go. Head. It's gonna hit the thing. No. No, die, please. <laughs> Ah, okay. Well, this is really rough. <laughs> Being put in my place finally after all that easy combat. 
but it's fine. In cold areas, we have to sacrifice some something. I mean, attack food will be helpful, but I don't have any sort of big uh, duration extenders for that. There we go, and it worked. Be quicker. Keep going back around. Nice. We're hitting a good angle. It's plopping right into it every single time. Not that time. Okay. Ow! <laughs> and then hit the frost. <laughs> Sorry, that was great. I, I need to clip that again. <laughs> Man. Mm. Are you talking about the drive? Yeah. Um. Sorry, I, I didn't mention too much about it earlier, but... When I mentioned that I was going home for the holidays, that means I'm driving home and I live, you know, a little over a dozen hours away from Wisconsin, so. Um, it'll be an okay drive. I mean, this weekend's gonna be bad because of the weather, but we're leaving before that, so. Man. I think that was everything on this little plateau. <laughs> Yeah, definitely I wanted to take a plunge into Hebrew today, just for an excuse to get rid of some of these, you know, a powerful weapons, because it avoids the weapon surplus. But I feel like for next stream, we'll probably charge into the Korok Forest, kill some enemies there, and then get more slots. So, and then take on enemies with more powerful weapons again, and then take those weapons to hard areas. So it'll all work out. Okay. <laughs> um. Oops, wait, there's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And yeah, we got all eleven enemies, and there's one more right there. Um, I just want to make sure. Yeah, looks clear to me. Wisconsin cheese, so good. Yes, literally, I love going back to Wisconsin. Uh, cheese curds is a big reason, and uh, and Culver's. I'm so excited for Culver's. It is like the best fast food. I can't, I can't do anything cool. Okay, just no deaths from him. I can't. He's so bouncy. Um, let's do a save. Is Culver's in Arizona? Nice. I know it's mostly Wisconsin, but there are definitely a few, like, odd states that have them. Like, even just a couple, at most. Woo! Well, I do want to use that bow more. Multi-shot melt's probably still the most efficient strategy. Okay. That fast bow time. It's fine. I don't mind wasting elementals because we just have so many. But there you go. There's the 12 that were there. Triple sapphire. <laughs> All those blueberries. Very nice. Okay, so 56 to 68. Definitely want to make it in the 1300s. Culver's. A lot of Midwesterns here. Yeah, I've, I've definitely noticed. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, Midwest. Oosh. Also, I didn't see. Uh, thank you guys for... Um, we're closing in nearly on 500 likes on the stream, so... 600 is our eventual goal, so... Thanks for the support. And yeah. Wow. Black... Not Black Moblin. Silver. Yeah. Stealth could be used more, but I'm literally just kind of... Having fun bashing everything. Also, he can't hit me. I'm definitely at the point where we we're going from like never getting hit like perfectly dodging around stuff to like Thankfully we have fairies <laughs> That's the boat worn Life is totally different without our attack off Maybe I mean it's definitely something we'll return to for more. I feel like our goal for today is just at least the tower Or a good war point in here That's already badly damaged. No there we go. 
Okay, uh, let's look. Um, that Moblin was, he was kind of a one-off. Um, there's going to be a few more up the hill, it looks like. Or it's kind of like the sidebar. I don't know. The scenic stuff is just so nice. Uh, but it makes just so many different ways you can go about this, too. It's not even, like, super enemy dense, but I just like it for what it is. Ooh. Okay. That, yeah, this path just has enemies on it. This down here is more of, like, a shield surfing hill. I think that's just a chest down there. So it kind of, like, ends off at that. Oh, but there actually is some enemies, like, far down there. So maybe we should check it out. There. <laughs> Save after these encounters. It's just the silver mob when I gotta kill. But yeah. All these other guys, don't make it easy for me, though. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. There you go. Just don't get shot. Hit them first. No, no spear. Come on. I'm using everything at my disposal. Come on. Ow. At least it's him. Not you, though. If you hit me, it's very fatal. Oh. You're dead, Moblin. Okay, good. We got to steal Lizabel, which is nice. It's like the monster royal bow. Oh, yep. Okay. Heal, heal, heal. This game, or just area of the game is so dangerous. Come on, don't do not do that. <laughs> just shield them all. That's fine. We are slow in the snow. We're very, very slow. Get it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my travel medallion here so we can take the side. Or this little descent that I was talking about. Okay. There's just a few enemies down here, but it'd be nice to do some sledding. Ooh. Oh, late update. We're now 36 kills over the quarter of the challenge. Nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, more time to do it uh, in the new year then. Yeah, the goal is to finish this before Tears comes out in May. Um, if we continue at this pace, we should finish it just a couple weeks before. Um, which I'm sure we will. There's some stuff that's going to take longer, some stuff that's going to be easier. And in case we're very close but just can't quite do it on time, we might add like another stream or two for like a weekend before. And because we do want to finish and if we don't finish it before, like 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 two weeks before Tears comes out, we'll just binge the rest, you know? Might as well. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Mm. There we go. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of rough terrain. Yeah, this is why I'm happy we got the, uh, uh, the warp points out in case we have to go down for stuff like this. It's so cool. There's so many nooks and crannies I know I haven't seen every single one of them in Hebra. Because it truly is the biggest. And it's like the one location in the map that I don't have memorized. Like, it's like, it truly feels like I'm, I'm in a new area. It's pretty awesome. And even the slip like this. Like, have I been down there before? Yeah, but I don't know. It just all feels so expansive and every time going through feels different. And oh now. I forgot the blood moon. We got to do that first. Okay, we'll try to exploit the save again. Um, so we have to push it back. It's 55, so what we're going to do is we're going to save the game. In case it does fail, we have an auto save that's like 15 seconds before. Hmm. I just want to make sure we're fine. Um, yeah. Save the game, and what we're going to do is... Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> My mind. I need to make sure we do it right, because last time we didn't, and we had to reload a bunch. I think it's just a matter of letting the cutscene play out, but then closing the game. So let's do that. There we go. We have our games here. 
Yeah. Okay. Now let's see if this works. Because if it doesn't work, we just reload a previous save until it does work. But basically, we're just doing this. So if we load into the game right before the blood moon happens, like seconds before, since it's still like loading into it, like skips over it and just, yeah, it won't happen until the next like three hours of gameplay. I guess we'll see. I feel like the save might have been a little closer. Skipped? I believe that's skipped. Um, after we kill these guys, I'm just going to check to see if that mob one's set up there. And if it is, then we're good. That didn't work the way I intended. <laughs> Let's try this. Uh, go, go by the shore. I don't need to take a boat, no. Ooh. There we go. Um, we are by the water, though. So... I will take advantage of that with our five shot. There we go. I think... Wait, which one actually does more damage? I think just hitting him in the head. But I just don't have an accurate shot. Get the water. Oh wait, no, it's freezing water. Oh wait, it's not. Oh yeah, I guess not here. Most water is freezing, but I guess this is special. <laughs> cool. But are you serious? I wanted to blow you in the water. That's fine, that's fine. Actually, no, it's not fine. Stealth strikes take durability. That doesn't. I don't care if we don't get the loot. I just don't have the weapons. Bye-bye. Yep. Low him back. Scary's gonna land on the raft. Also, oh, we still got the gems, somewhat. Yeah. Very good. Also, a bundle of arrows is cool. Choo-choo. I have to make sure I'm getting those. Okay. Yes. <laughs> One topaz in that. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. Mm. Yeah. And the counts reflects everything. Uh, well, there's still a few enemies that we haven't updated the counts on. Let's check. <laughs> so the current count reflects everything up to uh, that guy. And we just did one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the choo-choo barrel wasn't one of them. Um, let's make sure that's good, though. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Update the count by six. Seventy-four. Nice. Twelve seventy-four. We'll make it to that thirteen hundred today. Hmm. Also, I just got to make sure that enemy is killed. But yeah, the moblin's gone. Right? Just want to make sure. Okay, so the blood moon didn't go through, which is nice. That means, yeah, we literally have 1,274 enemies killed um, that are not in the world currently, because no blood moon. Okay, yeah, just those guys again. This is dangerous. I'm, I'm just so surprised that, yeah, we don't have that death. Salmon. Okay. I know we just didn't go backwards. It's fine. Because we do have Gale for getting up. Um, sorry, I'm just going back there. That was just a check to see if the enemies were there or not. So right now there is a uh, path upwards. Yeah. A lot of peblets. I think that's like a tunnel maybe? Hmm. Either way, I feel like we could... Oh, you know what we could do? Yeah, just charge our way up here a bit, go through the Cold Snap Hollow, which has some ramps up, and then kind of go there, uh, either at Selmy Spot or the Peak, we could kind of wrap up there. So, because then we'll have a good warp point. And both those work very well. Hmm. 
I know I did say the tower, but that can come in the future. It's fine. I have a good semblance of where I'm going, uh, which is surprising, but good, you know? And yeah, we're definitely ending things, uh, well, earlier in the night today because we started an hour earlier, so. Just want to let you guys know, but we'll still do this stuff in Hebrew. Um, and then, yeah, for next stream, which will be, uh, not next Wednesday, but the following. At least we'll do Korok Forest, uh, this stuff there. There's some enemies, like the Test of Wood and whatnot. But, uh, most importantly for Hestu, because he's there, and we can get more slots for weapons. Because, yeah, it's really going to give a huge advantage. And we probably won't go back to Hebrew for a while. I really just want to make sure we have good slots for weapons, and also, uh, attack boosting food. Which, I mean, after the Yiga Hydra, it'll be very good for that. Also, uh, the jungle has good stuff, so. Yeah, but Hebrew doing it this, at this time, it, it is definitely harder, but I'm having fun with it, so. I want to do at least a little bit of Hebrew, because it's such a huge region, so saving it for all one go later will be a little, a little tough. Also, ooh, that's a cool introduction. I don't really remember taking this southern route into uh, this area. It's neat, though. It got that guy, not the other. I was cowering. <laughs> Gonna do a little dance. Okay. This bow's still good. Or I shouldn't say it. When I start saying that uh, this bow's lasting a while, that's when it starts breaking. <laughs> it does have durability, though, and by default, they're fairly durable. Mm. Man. Looks like I was in a void. Um, I don't have stamina food. That's fine. I should cook some. That's that's an if if we even had that. It's fine. Best generic pizza is Papa John's. Yeah, I agree with that. And yes, I love Papa John's pineapple pizza. I totally didn't get one last night, so it's fine. It was fun. I love pineapple pizza so much. Again, I feel like I like all these weird acquired tastes that most people don't. But uh, I guess that's just how it was brought up. And that's why people like different things. It's because usually they have some sort of memory they associate it with when they're younger. It's, it's neat. Also, we're keeping that one because I know that blizzard rod has to be breaking. Also, break that. Break it. No. Break it. So close. <laughs> so nice there's like stuff in there. It's rare though. Okay. Um, What are we doing? <laughs> okay, so we got the, uh, the four keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven enemies right there. Including the blizz robe. Not bad. 85. Good. Only 15 away from 1300. Next, let's do a... Uh... Oh, just two pebbles right there. Easy. There's a frost talus. I know about you. Um, Moblin will get him. And then figure out from there. Oh, sorry. I, I, I didn't have my thing up for that. <laughs> I thought I did it that whole time. Uh, yeah, two pebblets. Um, potential third. Choo Choo, Frost Talus, Moblin. It's hard when there's still space like this, especially with like little enemies like a, a pebblet. We make it work though. Sorry, Blizzard Rod. Garlic butter is great. Ooh, okay. Well, there's, there's them too. And you too. <laughs> uh, I wish we had the the level 2 buff in this so we can actually touch cold stuff, not freeze. But I just didn't have those warm Saflinos. Oh well. 
there's always something else that we need, but we'll get it eventually. But yeah, when we do go back to Keeper, like we'll be stacked. We'll have better armor so we can actually, you know, touch those things, be fine. And just prepared in general by a lot. <laughs> so I kind of want to go here. Maybe like this. I know it was literally just a choo-choo. I'm like, oh, oh, there you are. Looking for one stray choo-choo that'll pop up, and we just found him. So that was very lucky. And um, yeah. Um, there is some enemies on the peak. I might as well just take care of them. Yeah. There's like four of them. And it's just more choo-choos. It's like a spiral up to choo-choos. And that's literally the point of this. Also, yeah, I'll, I'll take you. And then we can take on like the talus and whatnot. Gradually make our way up and yeah. So many ups and downs. But it's all cool to explore. Mm. Hi. What if we just spun it around? Spin to you and spin to you. Oh, that's a little dangerous. But the shockwave got him. Just a little ice. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Reminds me of the corkscrew spiral and like the the great plateau. I forgot it was this tree for like the quest. Like here, you can look at the bird. It's it's like that sh shrine quest, uh, where it tells you to go to this peak and then you have to look for a bird and it's that thing because the platform shaped like meadow, kind of like the head and the wings. It's kind of neat. So that's up. What are you doing here? <laughs> nice. Okay. I must find two uh, choo choos on this thing. I think they're here. It's like double screwed. Like corkscrew. <laughs> Neat. Uh oh. We were close for sure. Oh! That was self inflicted. Okay, though. Um, let's go. Hmm. Part of me wants to put a, a trail medallion here because I, I'm going pretty low for a couple things. Hmm. I don't know if I'll need to go back though. It's kind of experimental, but it just makes me feel better. Okay, let's check what we got. <laughs> I have to do every few because there's a lot of dynamic Lizalfos, like ones that randomly spawn in this area. So I have to make sure I'm not counting those. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yes, yeah, so that's a dynamic Lizal. Okay, let's add seven to the count. Also, it's hard doing this without the map, but like, I didn't plan on being here for super long anyways, so it's fine. <laughs> mm. Ooh, wait. I'm definitely going the wrong way, aren't I? I'll do that wing another time. Mm. I have so many broken weapons. <laughs> Nearly broken. Mm. Okay, yeah, let's put actually the medallion here. Our goal for tonight is just to finish off uh, at some peak, and there's only, you know, a few enemies. Well, definitely at 1300 at least. So, I'm excited. Mm. Just a little burniness. That's not fair. <laughs> Get up, you lazy cold rock that's really big. Okay, uh, work. <laughs> it's only work when he's fully awake. If you splash water on someone while they're sleeping, they're going to wake up. It's not only just going to have an effect on them when they're awake. <laughs> Come on, break it, because that counts as a nice critical. Um, Same with that. Same for the finishing it. Breaking a weapon on them, like, resets, like, their, uh... Their shake cooldown before they shake you off. Ah. I didn't see that happening that fast. That works too. There we go. Mifa's grace is ready. Awesome. <laughs> we can really go no deaths in this stream. Come on, Talus. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Talus down. Hmm. 
Got some blueberry gems. And basics. Okay. Well, we're doing good. How's my day today? It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we killed a lot of enemies, did meadow, um, and honestly just, you know, having a, a very chill time before, well, the holiday weekend's just very nice too. So, I appreciate that. I'll say, we just have a lot of elemental weapons. So wait, let me, let me get a look at this. Okay, we're down a few slots, but elemental, elemental, elemental. Ele Jeez, what? <laughs> Why do we have this many? I guess because we keep breaking everything else and picking up them. It's also the fact that elemental weapons have so much durability. Um, I mean, at least on par with like a lot of other late game weapons, but still, relative wise, it's a lot. Okay, let's go get that stuff. I'm pretty sure the Moblin's going to be in there. This just seems right. So yeah, we have the bows and arrows to spare. That's a randomly spawned Lizzle. Oh, <laughs> he's just in default mode after unfreezing. I thought he would be more happy, you know, like cheery, dancing. No. Just, oh, the ice is gone. Whatever. Time for a uh, midday stroll. Fire. What's actually better? I don't, I don't have anything strong anymore. It's all broken. Guess fire shots. <laughs> uh... Yeah, doing just fine in the weapon department. And you have to sneak strike train with a flame blade. Well, it's a kill down. More gems, okay. Do you have a weapon I can use? You do, thank you. Oh, awesome. I I appreciate that. It's not too much stronger than the rest, but it's it's something at this point, and that's fine. Unnecessary. Ice arrow. And Sino Moblin. Do test the strength count? They do. So I do have to do them eventually. Maybe not with our current stuff. Uh, hey, give me the violet. Those things are hard to come by. Okay. Let me pause once more and actually see what we're up to. Because, yeah, again, so many different ways. Um, it seems like we could just... Yeah. Wait, we could just charge to that shrine? Red giveaway? I'm not sure if what that sh was in that shrine. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. But we can do that. Um, maybe kill those guys. There's just like two pebblets, silver lizzle, um, blizzrobe, moblin, and then get the peak shrine. And then there we go. <laughs> That's our ascent. Let's do it. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad, but this part will be uh, a lot of sprinting. Mm. No? Okay. For some reason, I just want to make sure we're going the right way. The flakes tell the area very well. Also, I'll take some cooked meats. Oh no, fire rhino! <laughs> also, I totally forgot to mention, um... I know there's a lot of, well, I know there's a lot of games coming next year, and honestly, a Tears of the Kingdom is kind of overshadowing things for me, but um, I just randomly thought about how Pikmin 4 is coming out next year, and I, uh, well, I'm a huge fan of Pikmin. We have haven't done too much with it on the channel, but the third game remastered is on the Switch, and it's really fun, but Pikmin 4 does come out like, they didn't say one, but it's probably going to be later next year, so I'm very excited for that. Um, not too much else, I would say. I feel like it's just that. Obviously, Tears of the Kingdom. There's probably going to be DLC for it, too. I, I would think so. Um, and, man, it's it's kind of empty. I, I feel like I don't follow a lot of new game stuff, but when stuff does pop up, I enjoy it. Like, especially this year, um, like the two indies I played that I thought were really fun were uh, the Tunic game and the Little Gator game. So, they're both fun, and I feel like if you like Zelda games, they're both kind of in that spectrum of appeal. Um, I, I did want to mention it again, though, because uh, they're both really good. I think they're both, like, 20 bucks, and Tunic is good for just, like, you know, games that have, like, harder combat bosses, more like Souls games. Uh, and Little Gator game, it just, it's such, it's 
just such a fun, like, short and sweet, happy game. Uh, with really good movement mechanics, like, with Breath of the Wild. So, um, they're both worth it, both on the Switch. Here, I can actually pull it up really quick. This one, and this one. Those are, like, the two indie games I really enjoyed this year. Um, Scarlet was fun, too. It was actually my first full Pokemon game I've ever played. Um, and I, I had a good time. You know, obviously there's, you know, some bugginess and stuff like that. And a Pokemon isn't a thing I wouldn't... I would play, like, all the games, too, because they're, they're pretty similar between games. But I feel like, you know, just for someone who really wants to play at least one Pokemon game, this was definitely a lot of fun. A lot of streamlined stuff or just, you know, capturing the Pokemon and fighting them. Uh, it was easy for a beginner like me to get into. Um... Just some random stuff I downloaded. I just started playing that. I have to play it more, though. Bug Fables. Uh, I've heard a lot of the soundtrack before, and I like it. But uh, it is fun. It's akin to, like, the old school Paper Mario games. Uh, JoJo, of course. Yes. <laughs> um, Splatoon was awesome. And Origami King is always a classic. But it wasn't this year. Boomerang Fu is a very fun party game. Like a six-person, like, boomerang, quick-paced. It's awesome. Um... And I don't have everything on here. It's because I switched my Switch to the OLED, so only the stuff I played on the OLED is pairing here. West of Loathing is very funny, too. It's uh, it's akin to, like, Paper Mario-style humor, but, like, classic RPG, like, travel and elements. So that's also very fun. So I'm just kind of thinking of, like, random loose little games outside of this, too. Because, uh, I don't know. Just from my perspective, like, a lot of people ask, like, what are the games I play outside of Zelda? And that's it. So, oh, and Undertale, just brilliant. Uh, I, I played this one in January, and I had a lot of fun with it, so. Yes. But <laughs> A turnip boy commits tax evasion similar to Zelda. <laughs> I've literally held, heard of that. <laughs> I don't know much about it, though. Thank you, Daniel, for the 20. Merry Christmas, Croton, from Sammy and Danny. Thank you so much. I'm, I hope you have a good Christmas, too. Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> and yes, JoJo, I'm a huge JoJo fan. Uh, I I sneak at least one reference in every video. Oops, but <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know. Um, no. In terms of anime, I love JoJo and I love Attack on Titan. Nothing else really comes too close. I, I feel like there's some anime that I have fun watching. Uh, especially stuff like Spy X Family, I think is really fun. But in terms of like stuff I really like, it's nothing like those two shows. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm the type of person who I don't have like a whole lot of stuff that I like am interested in or have like time to watch or play. But the stuff I do really like is stuff that really sticks with me well. Which I guess explains like even stuff in the channel too. It's like, you know, obviously I love Breath of the Wild a lot so much to the fact that I can keep playing it like this in different ways. Um, but, you know, same thing with like shows. Like don't watch a lot of shows, but I like stuff like that. I started watching Breaking Bad recently, too, because I I started in high school, like, six years ago, and then never finished, uh, but that's really good. Um, I don't know why I'm taking pictures of the shields. It's just, it's, I don't know. They're just here. It was inviting, and we have to do it. You love Lust of Loathing? Yeah, that was a fun game. Attack on Titan's your favorite anime? Nice, nice. Okay. It's so, so good. It's literally the first anime that I really got into, too. Sorry, right, sell me. Uh, yeah, like, story-wise, like, I can't think of a single... Not even just anime, but just, like, story in general that has a better story than Attack on Titan. Like, it's just so well thought out, and it's, like, this huge expanding mystery that just, you know, unravels so well. Mm -hmm. Do I plan on making more Zelda bingo videos? Not in the near future. I... <laughs> I'm gonna have a pretty busy plate for uh, going into the next year, I'm gonna be honest. Um, there's a few challenge runs I wanna do. There's also um, a few stats videos I wanna do. With one that I pretty much just finished researching, so that'll come out early next year. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really, there's like so much content I wanna make and not enough time before tears. So I gotta take it video by video for now. But glad you enjoyed it though. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I couldn't get into Chainsaw Man. Just a little too weird. Whoop! Okay. Flicks. Okay. 
This is Sparta. Wait, what? Your tongue rope is that much more important than my... Get off the edge. Yeah, yell, because you're supposed to be over there. No fall damage, of course. Uh, it's not that high. I'm really just not being cautious with my durability. I'm just, I'm just slaughtering. Sometimes that's just fun to do. Mm. There we go. Nice. Okay. I know there's some minor enemies. There's only like one more like uh, big enemy, like a moblin up ahead. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. There's, yeah, the one's over here. <laughs> so I'm going to scatter around myself until I figure this out. Uh, ow. Two pebblets. Where are you? You should just be on the path. There you are. Ugh. Nice, and uh, I think after that, okay, there's gonna be a whiz robe and uh, a moblin. <laughs> if we can reach it, we a little stamina deficiency here. Mm. Wait, should, I, should I just scale? Just uh, yeah, let's use up the third one so it starts recharging. Okay, there they are. Just stop using this Rito Vulcan bow. We can always make another one. It's not that bad. We'll definitely have the diamonds because I'm not spending all that. We have a woodcutter's hack, so it's fine. Just carrying the trashiest stuff with us. Do I think the blue fl the blue flag on the Great Eagle bow is a little piece of Rivali's champion scarf? That's a good thought, actually. I'm not sure if it was actually there in the in the previous like champion cutscenes. So that could be a good test of it. I feel like it's a good head cannon, but uh, and there's that one cutscene with Rivali before it becomes a champion and the champions bailed. So if the bow doesn't have that, then we have an answer. <laughs> this bow is not breaking. Okay, there's a moblin. Is it in the ice or is it past the ice? I don't remember. There it is. Okay. Well, let's finish them. <laughs> Come on. Goodbye, Moblin. That didn't do as much damage as I hoped. So let's uh give him the nice ice poke. <laughs> you know, it's, we gotta use up this elemental crap. Lasting us too long. Come on! That's all you got in you? Yeah, it's satisfying. Please break it. I know you have like a billion durability for no reason. I just need this stuff gone. <laughs> okay. That for the warp. Um, and I think that takes us to... Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. That's five more. Wait. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There's a mess... Hmm. Wait. Sorry, I didn't have my map open. Uh, <laughs> that was five more, so it takes us to 1297. And there's three enemies right there. You know, let's just finish. Make it 1300. That's a Moblin, Ice Choo Choo. Okay, that won't be too bad. Just one more tough enemy. Let's do it. We have a warp now. All right, let's end in a nice even 1300 going to the new year. Okay. And yeah, that'll pretty much be it. So next time you'll see me, will be in the new year. And uh, so it'll be two Wednesdays from now. And we'll do more with the run. We'll start Wednesday night. And uh, we'll at least do Quark 4 stuff for slots. I do want to do the next two Divine Beasts pretty soon. Um, probably within like the next three streams, we'll have all the Divine Beasts done like in total. Because I really want all those champion abilities and want champions belled and locked. Because the closer we get to the master cycle, it'll be so helpful, especially for this, too. Mm. 
I didn't do the Lionels in here, bro. We did one earlier, though. Where's that platform? There's just three of them. I just want to crank them out. I think they're right there. Yes, they are. I believe so. There they are. Okay. Last three. You were just a fire guy. Didn't quite hit the way I wanted to. Wait, which one is it actually? Oh, it's actually probably that one, but we'll kill them both. Safe measure. Oh, it was him. Never mind. You're dynamic. It's one. Can we actually get the cell strike this time? I guess we'll see. Three, two, one. Come on. Stealth strike prompt. Please? Stealth strike prompt. What? I hate it with the Moblin so much. Doesn't work ever. All right. Grand finale. No deaths. Elemental spam. Fire. Ice. Shock. With the orbs in there. It's literally orbing on those things. That's amazing. Fire. Ice. Shock. Come on, go. <laughs> literally everything. Nope. Fire. Ice. Shock. <laughs> Please. Like two more. Probably three more. But I like doing it anyways. So it's fine. <gasps> Fire. Ice. Shock. <laughs> We're just being extra because we got to. One fuck him out of the face. Damn it. <laughs> it broke. It had to go out. Let's fire him up for the end. Big fire. Woo. That health bar of mine is not looking too nice. Have it your way. Goodbye. Nice. Okay. <gasps> What's well, it? I'm out of here. It's got a diamond though. We gotta run. <laughs> <gasps> I'm so surprised we didn't die at all this stream. No fairies, no grays. Like, literally just been on the edge the entire time. Wow. <laughs> you even passed all the clumsiness. It worked. And we didn't even have to use our party bread. So lucky at the end. We got the Mifa's grace hearts and then still got to a half. But all right. With all that, uh, takes us up exactly three more. Two. 1,300. 1,300 enemies out of 49, 28. And uh, just on the map, too, we can pull that up. And obviously, we have more to do in Hebrew, but I feel like that's a good plunge because, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, there's still a lot. It's going to look even more on this map, too. But it takes out a central section, so we have, you know, more passes to do. But once you have, like, the master cycle, you know, more better armor and attack boosting stuff and slots, it'll be even more of a breeze. But Hebrew's a big chunk, so it's good to take it little by little because... Uh, it removes a little of the strain for later, and plus, it was fitting. I want to be in the snow for this week. Um, <laughs> yeah, and a Divine Beast down, Revali Scale. So yeah, Force will be good. We can take on the enemies there in the future. And of course, just uh, Fire Area and uh, Desert in the near future, too. So probably all stuff we do within the next upcoming month, too. But thank you guys for watching. It was honestly just really a blast. Um, like, this whole year, just with stuff on the channel, um, all the challenge runs, the streams, same year where we did uh, our entire second win playthrough too, and even finished Relics, which we'll do some more of that into the next year as with the new updates uh, on occasional weekends, probably. We'll still do this on Wednesdays. Um, but yeah, honestly, it was really great. And well, next year is, is the year for us fans to uh, really get to dive into the new game and it's going to be a blast. So thank you. Um, you know, in the meantime, obviously I... Won't be doing stuff with the channel. I'll probably still be chatting in the Discord here and there. Um, and, you know, just hope you guys have a good just holiday season regardless of what you celebrate. Um, if you celebrate Christmas this weekend, then Merry Christmas. Um, and Happy New Year and the following weekend. It's very rare that those both end up on uh, the weekends. But it's kind of neat. But you know, hopefully you have a good holiday season and just jump into the new year. So I'm just going to read the last few comments until we end this. Happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays, everyone. Enemies killed tonight, 177. So it's definitely lower than the other ones, but we did take down a Divine Beast, and, you know, I I think that's fine. Some streams are just going to be less than, like, the normal, like, 200-ish we got. 
Have a fun time in Wisconsin. I will. Thank you. We're going to be driving over there soon. So, <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone uh, who celebrates. Get Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I, I, did, I do have that. I forgot to mention it earlier. Very, very fun game. Uh, Got to be my favorite Kirby game. One of my favorite just endings in the game, too. Fun soundtrack. Uh, just really great power-ups and just Kirby fun. <laughs> wow. Only 11 kills more than the lowest kill comp per stream. Oh, so it wasn't the lowest today, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it uh, that I have to say. I just, I just had to make sure. Um, also, I'm digging the, the red tunic. I feel like it really grew on me. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you guys have a great holiday and into the new year. And I will see you then. So thanks, Ravali, and have a good one. Goodbye.